Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel, this is Skelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe. If you enjoy the reading, keep in mind this is a general reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. Take with fits, leave the rest. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. And you can also get a personal reading with me. Links are in the description box with me or Brandy. All right, Virgo, so let's get into this reading and see what the messages are here. You've got abundance, addiction, and healthy choices. Wow, this is awesome, Virgo. So, yeah, it looks like, um, it looks like you're choosing to get away from some kind of a addiction of some sort i don't know what that could be usually you know leave it you know your story right um but i feel like there's i feel like in july there's all this abundance comes to you that kind of makes it easier for you to overcome some really difficult obstacles um it's almost like i, f I feel like you're being given a gift um that's gonna really help you with something um i'm feeling like grace comes to you okay so when i talk about grace what's that mean it's kind of like one of those situations where you look at a situation that you know that you have to deal with and and other people maybe have gone through the situation themselves and or maybe you've gone through this particular situation in the past but I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling this scent. Like I see someone on a surfboard. I just see you breezing through a very difficult situation in July where it's almost as if you are lifted and you are carried through something, okay, that brings you to this uh, place to where you'll be able to like make better decisions for yourself. Do you know what I mean? It And it almost kind of feels like... Um, where I see people kind of turning around to you and just being like, how did you get through that? And, and it's almost as if you're, it's almost as if your energy is like, you know, I have no idea how I got through this. You're, you're being carried through something. That, that's the overall message that I'm getting right now with these three cards that you, um, I don't know, your faith gets you through something or your, your, your beliefs or this po positive mindset get you through something that maybe was causing extreme restraint or had you blocked or someone maybe in some relationship with a codependency obsession or possessive behavior uh, virgo you you get lifted out of something here in july and this is really beautiful you know whatever this situation is uh, a work situation um a relationship of some sort where you come out on the other side and it's like you've got all this self-care you're happier yeah i mean this feels like a gift of some sort or a blessing of some sort that comes to you <coughs> okay let's so let's get into this reading because this that felt like a very spiritual uh, message okay so you've got the emperor here. Okay, so there is somebody in your periphery or in your life that are at least showing up in June who's coming forward as someone who is very responsible, um, someone who shows up very much like a leader. Um, they take care of everything. They handle the business. All right, let me, let me see who this person is to you, Virgo. Okay. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. I see someone sneaking away from um, their commitments to help you out with something in July. They sneak away from their job. They sneak away from other commitments or maybe it's, you know, it doesn't feel like it could be a marriage or but it's something they're committed to and they they just fly out the back door to come and help you with something okay um it doesn't i'm not it doesn't mean that somebody's cheating or anything like that i mean if if you're in an extramarital affair this could be a message for you that the person you're in an affair with they they come and help you with something here um but i also and hey i'm not judging <laughs> 
I have no opinion. You have your own opinions. I'm just giving the message. But I do feel like there is definitely someone who sneaks away from responsibility of some sort that they have either to family or to a job um, or other things in their life um, to come and take care of something for you. Okay. So let me see what else is going on here. That's an interesting message. And this is show someone who's showing up as the emperor. Now this could be someone who's on the cusp of Aries and Taurus as well. So that would be like April 18th, 19th, 20, somewhere 21st. Um, but let me see what else is going on here, Virgo. Because this is a really interesting... This might be the grace. Yeah. Um... If someone's coming and help you with something, okay. Hold on a second. You guys, I mean, I just got this huge image of someone just kind of holding the torch for you as you go through some dark cave. What the heck? I just saw that. A torch and like somebody else is holding it, lighting the way. There is someone here. Now that can be symbolic for something, or maybe you're actually like in a cave and you're you're doing some exploring. I don't know. But there is someone here who's going to be helping you out with a situation that you're going through in July that you may not feel, yeah, look, there's strength that you may not feel like you could get through on your own. But they bring this abundance. You know, they, they, they give you like a, a care package or they, they, they give you flashlights or they light the way. They, they help you out. They ha someone has your back in a situation. It doesn't have to be a bad situation. I mean, it could be something new that you're doing and you're trying to break away from something though. Okay. And this person comes in and it's almost they come in with strength. Like they come in and give the support and the strength to help you overcome something so you can make healthier choices. Okay, or they're attached to some kind of healthy choices as well. Healthy eating, healthy living, mind, mind body, soul as well. Okay, so, uh, you know, if you are trying to break through some addiction of some sort, you got someone in here that like spirit is sending or your faith is carrying you through that's helping you with something here as well. Let me see, because there's a lot of courage. This person comes in and it's like they give you like they I don't know, it's like a pep talk or they give you courage or they help you with something. Something that you're definitely struggling with in July. Now tell Virgo, is this like a romantic? What is this? Hmm. Well, somebody's definitely helping you from a heartbreak kind of scenario or situation that you've been in. Um, you must be either going through a divorce or there's a breakup of some sort. Um, and you can't try to make heads and tails of a situation can't really make heads and tails heads or tails of it yeah and I feel like this person is kind of coming in to bring peace like they're rushing to the rescue here they're bringing the good news <laughs> you know or there's something that's ended here um, some kind of fantasy has ended some kind of place that you've been that you know was just all up in like maybe your head or it felt like it was in your head I definitely like I cannot even believe it you got the two of pentacles down here so Virgo you're just this person is like trying to help you weigh things out is what I feel like maybe you're going through some separation there's or something and you've just got like <laughs> I don't even like, I mean, I could say knight in shining armor because you do have the, the knight of swords, but I don't I, like for some of you. Yeah. But the emperor is not a knight. You know, this is someone who's, they've been where you are. This person, maybe it's a friend. I don't know. They've been where you are and you're going through some kind of shift and some kind of change. Now, does this person like, what is the deal? Is this like a romantic someone who's got a thing for Virgo or is this just a friend what is going on here now like I said it could be an Aries or a Taurus or just they're on the cusp 
Who is this person, the Virgo? Oh, Tower. Okay. They were there when everything came crashing down. I'm just hearing. They were there when when things came crashing down. Yeah. This might be somebody you've confided in. They knew that I'm just hearing this person knew. Like they anticipated that something like this was going to happen. Virgo, I got to tell you, I'm really picking up vibes that this person has been waiting for whatever this situation is to like hit rock bottom so that they could come in. You know, and you might have been in a relationship with someone that was very unhealthy. This person's just been waiting for that other person to F up. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. They've been waiting. They haven't been trying to intrude, but I feel like they've been waiting for that person to screw up. They knew that person that you were with was going to screw up. Maybe they know about them somehow, but they knew that person was going to screw up. They've been secretly waiting for the fallout so that they could come in and get things right for you. Make things right for you. This is like, I don't even know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like a knight in shining armor or armor S. I mean, I know knights back in the day couldn't be women, but I don't know. It's a knight in shining armor. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, this person, oh my gosh, very smart. Maybe they told you in the past, you know, <clears throat> or you had conversations with this person. They told you in the past, that person's no good for you. They're going to do this. They're going to do that, you know, um, or they just have known about the situation. And yeah, they've just been like, not someone I feel like who wanted to try to break you up. But they're just, you know, waiting because they knew that the, whoever else you were with um, was not going to be able to see it through. They just knew it. And yeah, there's, there's somebody coming to the rescue here. Help you out through something. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, two. Oh, this person wants to marry you, Virgo. Like, they see... They see a long-term thing here with you. Having a family, retiring together, what have you. You know, happily ever after. Working together, building our house in the middle of the street. Brick by brick by brick. Layer upon layer. Creating something. Building the adobe. There's just some kind of energy from this person coming in. Um, who's just kind of been sitting back. Yeah, well, they're, uh, I, I guess you must, either you're going through some kind of separation, or you're already in it. And I know this message isn't going to be for everyone. I just can't get to all of you. You can get a personal reading with me, though. The link's in the description box below. But this person, yeah, you could be friends with them. Maybe you know them from work, um, or they're connected to could be oh my gosh i just heard your your partner's friend or brother or sister whichever there's a connection absolutely they know you somehow either through acquaintances or or friendship yeah i feel like this person okay yeah there's a six of cups there you go um you might have known this person when you were way younger, like in your childhood, okay? And also, um, it could be, for some of you, this person, I'm seeing three children. They're just telling me right now. Two, like, maybe twins and a baby, or just three children in general, okay? Um, I don't know that maybe that, that could be anything if that if that resonates for you you could uh, it could be you and uh, two siblings or them and two siblings or one of you has three kids or something like that okay this person has been wishing <laughs> they've they've been wishing absolutely wishing on a star for this to happen and I don't feel like this, I don't feel, whoever they are, I don't feel like they've been wishing negative things. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I don't feel like this person 
does any kind of trickery or anything. I don't feel like they've tried to manifest this or anything. They've just been praying and praying that you would either open your eyes or that you would come to your senses or you would get out of this dreamlike state and end something with this person or, or you know, do something because the person that you were with was noncommittal. And there was just a lot of heartbreak. They didn't, they don't want to see you and they didn't want to see you hurting, Virgo. So, I mean, if you don't know who this is, just hold out because July, we're not through July yet. So let this energy play out because it may just, they may show up out of the blue. But I'm just picking up some real strong vibes that this is someone here who um, has just been waiting until you got yourself free from another relationship. Now listen, you may not know them. For some of you, listen. You may not know them. They may know of you or know a situation, but they hadn't approached for some of you because they knew you were involved. Okay? So you may not even realize that. So just wait until July for the energy to play out so that you will know. Then you'll know that this reading's for you, right? You come back and leave it in the comments like, oh my God, because I know you guys do that. Um, and I read them and I'm just like, what? That's amazing. All right, let me see. I want to just get a couple of romance angels here. I know I saw one flip out. Oh, there we go. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay. Yeah, some of you, this is a friend. Um, for some of you, this is a friend who's going to come in and help you with something in this in July, definitely. Whether it's a breakup or some kind of separation or loss of a job or a loss of a loved one. I mean, this person's coming in to give that support um, for sure. Um, but I also feel like love evolves. Love evolves from this as well. It's very beautiful. Okay. For some of you, it's a past life relationship. Um, you have known each other before. Huh. That's interesting. This is an interesting message, Virgo. Have you? Listen, I, I haven't had a, a message like this. I don't think ever. Um, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I mean, this is amazing. This feels like someone here that you have some kind of connection is coming in to just kind of catch you when you fall. That's what it, that's what it feels like. Very supportive energy. Um, you know, the emperor represents, the emperor is the king of kings. The queen of queens, right? But in general, the emperor is the king of kin kings. The emperor holds all of the elements. Water, fire, earth, and air. Okay? Um, extremely wise. Um, very compassionate. Brave. Um, good communicator. All of, this, all of these wonderful qualities. This is someone... Um, they just gave me a firefighter. They just said firefighter. So I don't know what that means. Oh gosh, I'm not predicting that something's catching on fire. Don't go there. Don't go there. It could be a career that they have or uh, some kind of job. Um, yeah. So I, you know, Virgo, it just feels like whatever this struggle is that you are going through, or this something kind of thing that you're dealing with during this month, I feel like you've got like. I don't know if it's for you to ask for this person to help you out or ask for support. I mean, I feel like there's a love connection that goes from there. It builds from there. What? Okay. I just saw Twin Flame, but I put that back. If it pops out again, then it's going to pop out again. Okay. Look, support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. That's twice now. Ask for and accept support support so this is i feel like this is someone in your inner circle somewhere okay retreat time alone or in nature will help you recharge yeah this oh gosh virgo it just feels to me like you're going through some major change or shift or you hit some kind of like 
other level. You know, when you saw it like you've hit the bottom, maybe another bottom falls out. But somebody's here coming in that's coming to the rescue. I know it sounds like a hallmark <laughs> story, but someone's, you're not going to be alone in something that you're going through. There's a real connection that gets made here. And someone's really going to show you that they care and that how valuable and how important you are as you go through this struggle and they're not going to let you fall. You know, whatever it is, what, if it's the end of a relationship or they've been waiting for you to get your shit together for a go or get off them drugs or whatever, or they've been waiting for you to, you know, get yourself clean or just get your, you know, in a good place. Like you, you have a little bit of an awakening that happens here and then you have all this support around you. And it's this time period where you retreat and you pull your energy back and somebody comes in and spends that, those dark moments with you and you're not like they bring a light like that torch they, they hold a light even with the even with the hermit there look you know this person holds a light up for you so it's not so dark it's beautiful so you won't be all alone and this person's alone this person is alone And, there, and there's a spark. There's something here that happens. You know, like I said earlier, some of you might have this extramarital affair thing going on. I mean, if that's your situation and you're like um, a third party to, to a relationship, it looks like... Um, well, I don't know why that person's not leaving their whoever they're with. It... It's the exception to the rule if someone actually leaves their marriage to go with like a third party. It really is. I mean, it's not that it doesn't happen, but it is the exception to the rule when it does happen. But I will say that whoever this person is, they care very, very much for you. I mean, they really do. And they really, really, truly want to be with you. I don't know what their situation is at home, if it's that scenario, um, but they can't leave it. I can tell you that. Okay, so unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. So yeah, there's definitely some obstacles here in this situation um, that you're trying to, to overcome. I will tell you, you're not gonna you're not gonna have to do it alone. I'll tell you that if that brings any kind of consolation, you're not gonna have to go through something here alone. Okay. Now you might choose to say, no, you don't want this person's support and you're just going to retreat and get it from an, a different source. You know, that's entirely up to you, but I am seeing someone who's coming in here to help you get back up on your feet. Yeah, there's your awakening. Wow, Virgo. That's what I was saying. You have like some kind of an awakening. You're going through a major shift and a change. Some of you are actually awakening to that extramarital affair and you're like i don't want this anymore you know and this person tries to come in and you know give you their love and they want to do all this stuff but they're not leaving their person so that might be an obstacle for some of you and it's like no you know let me you want to just pull away and get that support from the people who care about you that can be available for you okay no matter what it is like if some of you are like having a breakup, um, uh, this is a small little story. Some of you are having a breakup with someone from your past. They do try to come in and, and keep that from, I don't know, they kind of come in to give comfort, try to keep that breakup from happening as well. Okay, that's a small message for some of you, but I feel like overall... Whatever you go through or whatever you find yourself in, in a little bit of a dark moment or something in July, there's somebody here that's like, you're not going to have to sit in this dark room by yourself. I'm going to bring the snacks. I'm going to bring the juice. I've got the lights and I've got the chargers and I'm going to spend my time with you and I'll sleep over. I'll do whatever. You don't have to go through this alone. So it's really a beautiful, like major support of energy. And I like it, right? Who wouldn't? Let me see what your Moon Pie Tarot messages are. 
And just so you know, guys, um, today you are getting this reading um, July 4th during the day, okay? Um, but July 4th evening, 1030, I will not be here. So I will be back on Wednesday to do your, to follow up the readings, okay? Um, I was, well, I won't tell you where I was, but I'm, I'm back for long enough to get this reading out for you tonight and then uh, back out the door, but then I will be back on Wednesday, okay? Just so you know. Um, okay, Cupid's Arrows, Love Messages and Travel coming to you. Yeah, there's someone here who's like crazy in love with you. They are in love with you. A lot of communication going to be happening. This person has just been waiting and waiting for things to just kind of. And for some of you, I will say now they're just telling me this person is breaking up with another person that they are with. Right. So I know I said that the marital, the marital thing. No, I don't feel that. I don't feel like someone here is getting a divorce, okay? Um, but if there is a, a, in other words, legal, okay? Um, moving out of the house, yes. Um, being separated, yes. The actual legal papers and all, no. Not in July, okay? Maybe later, but for now, there is, if it's if it's that, if you're like a, um, a third party to a, a marriage, marriage, marriage relationship. Um, I do feel like this person is going to be moving away from who they're with. There's a separation of some sort. Okay, I will say that, um, or they're finally going to, you know, leave that person. But they're going to still have the, the the legalities. That's what I'm saying. Um, and then others, there is a separation um, between one person and another who is, you know, their boyfriend, girlfriend, they're not, they're not legally bound. Okay. I do feel, and that person is going to come in and, and, you know, try to be with you. There's new beginnings. Wow. Definitely open your heart to receive. You are divinely blessed Virgo. New love beginnings. There's also a motherly figure who's going to be helping you out or guiding you, whether she's up above or here on earth there's definitely some guidance i mean virgo it just i don't know i i feel like whatever this struggle is and i hope please leave me comments let me know what the heck's going on because whatever this struggle is i mean you're totally not going through this alone at all and there's definitely um okay deeply loving male all right so that's cancer scorpio pisces showing up here as well okay so they could be Pisces Aries cusp um, or they're a water sign. Oh, wow. Boredom in the reverse. Okay. Well, that's a good thing. Someone's super excited to be coming in to help you out with some, uh, some struggles that you're having here. Definitely. Now that could be this person or it could just um, person that they're leaving as well here and hmm. it's interesting because this is the hangman in the reverse look at it differently this is like seeing a situation from a different perspective but it's in the reverse and I feel strongly that's a message for you that you don't have to do anything Virgo you don't have to do anything right now okay you're going well in other words Virgo, you don't need advice going through whatever you're going through. You just need comfort and care, right? Because um, I feel like there's going to be this need to kind of rationalize your way through this situation, have some self-talk, try to make sense of things as you go through this, whatever this thing is, right? This little black cloud hanging over your head in a particular area, not necessarily your entire life, but in this a particular area. And uh, you know what, Virgo? Just accept the love, accept the comfort, the hugs, the care, the care packages. Um, you don't have to look at anything differently. You don't have to do anything, right? You're not obligated to do anything except just breathe <laughs> and rest and try to have a positive mindset. And that's all you need to do. 
try to keep your head above water. You don't need to like, oh, you got to sit back and try to see the silver lining. Yeah, that's save that for later, right? Just right now, as you go through July, get by the water, Virgo. Get by some water. S you know, float in the water. Go underneath the water. Swim if you swim. If you don't swim, don't go in the water. Um, just get by that very fluid healing energy because water is very healing i feel like that's what you you know i don't care drink more water have yourself a little drink whatever you need to do you don't need to philosophize or reason or logic anything out about a situation you just need to breathe just breathe that's all you that's all you need to do let me see what the chinese sign of this person who is coming in for virgo Chinese sign for Virgo. Person coming in for Virgo. Okay. We have a dragon. Starting off with a dragon, Virgo. And the goat. And the dog. And the horse. Tiger. Rabbit. Ox. Tiger again. Dragon again. Rabbit again. And a pig. Okay, nice. Very nice, Virgo. Oh, I'm so happy for you. I just feel like, I mean, you've got an angel coming in, just to coming to save the day, so to speak. You definitely have someone coming in here to help you out or to give you, to give you a little boom boom, Virgo. <laughs> give you some love and, and some kisses and some hugging. Just letting you know, Virgo. Oh, we also have a rat here. Where'd he come from? I was an extra. All right, let me just see. I'll get a couple of uh, names and randoms to see what else Virgo needs to know. Oh, wow. Okay. So we have a happily ever after situation here. Um, I see someone's house and they have a whole bunch of like cut wood or logs out in front of the house, like under the window or, you know, for cut wood you know for fireplaces stuff like that i just saw that huge like a big pile so, or somewhere near that in the yard there's a piles of cut wood chopped wood trees chopped trees wood okay strange message right there and i see like a, a white house with blue shutters and like a reddish light brown kind of roof all right, what else do you have, Virgo? Oh. A lot of candles lit. A lot of candles. Somebody's got the comfiest damn bed ever. Com like blanket, like thick, fluffy pillows and blankets and so soft. Such a very soft bed. Soft blankets, lots of them and lots of pillows. It's like heaven. Heaven in someone's bed. <laughs> the bedroom of heaven. I see a little bit of like, um, there's an African-American, or an African male, I should say. I don't know if he's American. Or maybe, I don't know. But he's he's African, and he's, he's alone, and he's kind of sad. By himself. He's waiting. He's, he was waiting for her, I'm hearing. He's waiting for her to come home. And we're going to have, like, make love by the moon. She never came. Or she's gone. And he's super, super sad. Like, very depressed. He doesn't know where she is. He doesn't know where she went. He's very sad right now. He keeps looking out the window down at the driveway, hoping she's going to pull up any minute. She hasn't shown up yet. She's not answering her phone. Or she's just gone. Okay. I see a, a, a young child giving blood or having their blood drawn. Giving blood or having their blood drawn. What else? There's a child getting like an arterial um, blood 
drawn an arterial blood blood draw. Ouch. That's a little painful. Okay, let me see. And also, huh, what an odd thing. That is such an odd thing. You know those little wishes that you can blow on and make a wish, dandelions? Well, you're going to see one in the weirdest place. <laughs> or you saw one already, and it's in the weirdest place. It, it's like growing in the center of the grocery store, like out of the floor, inside the building. Odd like that. Or it's laying on the floor of someone's car, you know? It's not blown. Um, it's just an odd, peculiar place to see it. And you're, you're being asked that when you see it to pick it up, make a wish. Because that wish is going to come true. If you see it in an odd place, you know, like, what the heck's that doing there? You know, usually, I mean, they can grow up out of cracks or they grow in the grass all the time. You know, um, you'll just know. Just trust yourself because you'll know that it's weird, that it's odd, that it's the, the placement of it is how I feel. Okay, and also, um, okay, they're saying justice will be done in regards to that water situation. Justice will be served and all will be fair in regards to some situation that has to do with an ocean or a pool. or water, or tub, a place wherever there's water, things will be fair and just, um, yeah, things will be fair and just, I don't know exactly what that means, but I feel like if anything, if that's connected to you, um, it's a, it's a win-win, the, the truth is going to come out, and it will be in your favor, and karma will be served, in regards to something, I just see somebody surrounded in water. And I don't know what the energy fully of that is, but again, leave me a comment if you like, if you know what I'm talking about, because I sure as hell don't. <laughs> I just see that. So maybe it's a legal thing or something that shows up here that just says like it's it's going to work out. This thing is going to work out. Okay. Um, all right, let's try and get some numbers. All right, we have Gemini, Pisces, Sagittarius. Um, okay, September 4th, September 6th, September 11th, September 8th, September 17th, September 2nd. Okay, August 25th, August 28th, August 24th. And the 26th, someone is 60 years of age, someone is 55 years of age, someone is also 58, someone's 52, someone is 46, did I say that already? I can't remember, maybe I did, or 64. And the number 611, significant to someone, we also have the number 178 and 525 also 5817 5606 and 411 <laughs> what's the 411 okay i feel like i'm missing oh yeah it went over here it landed on leo okay so, Scorpio, Leo again, Virgo, and Taurus. All right, one more. Okay, numbers 10213 and 128-7609. And they're giving me 1978. And 1987, 
They're also giving 71. Okay. All right, you guys. Let's get a couple of charms, and I'm going to send you on your way. Hope you guys all had a fantastic weekend. Mine's still going on. All right. So you've got you've got kissy lips, <laughs> red lips, okay, and the moon. So some of you are either going to get a kiss or you're going to give a kiss when the, the next half moon comes. Okay, I have no idea because I think last night was a full moon. So however long it takes from now to get to the next half moon. Um, I always feel like the crescent, no, wait, it's a crescent moon, a half, no, it's a crescent moon. Is a crescent moon a half moon? Whenever it says a crescent moon, yeah, there's going to be giving a kiss or getting a kiss. Okay. <laughs> I just want you to know that. I don't know when it is. I don't have my calendar with me, so I can't tell you. I wish I knew. But you can look it up and you can just be like, oh, that's on July, whatever. And you'll be able to find out. <laughs> but yeah, there's getting a kiss or giving a kiss. Okay. Lots of kisses. Somebody sends someone a kiss. God, I wish I knew what it is. You know what? Should I look it up? Let me see. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to look it up. Because I need this date. When is the next crescent moon, July 2023? Okay. Oh, so the next waning crescent is Saturday, July 15th. All right, you guys. So it's, it's between the 15th and the 18th, July 15th, 16th, 17th and 18th. Someone's planting a kiss on you, or vice versa. You're planting a kiss on someone. Um, you want a message? Oh, be quiet, you. I am the messenger. I don't message anybody. So you, um, yeah, it's sweet. It's it's very nice. So it could be this situation where you're going through whatever. Remember I said it's something going on in July here with all these changes. And then I feel like it's a first kiss. For some of you, it is. And for others, um... I don't know it's it's it could be like a kissy text or something that is a little bit of a surprise it's romantic though i'll tell you that all right virgo i'm gonna leave that there um happy fourth of july to all of my american friends who celebrate and i hope you guys have a fantastic um day and i will be back here the day after the fourth which would be the fifth and um 10 30 p.m okay if i get a chance to upload the video for tuesday uh, well, for the fourth prior to that, I will, but um, we'll see how it goes. All right, you guys, have a fantastic week, weekend, rest of your fourth, and I will see you all back here on Wednesday. All right, take care. Hey, Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. I hope you all had an amazing holiday weekend. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy this reading. Keep in mind, this is a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. And if you would like to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below the video. Do click on that link and that will take you to my booking site and you can book with either Brandy or myself. All right, you guys, so we're going to take a look at July, see what's going on, and I'm also going to take a look and see if there's any general messages. But wow, you have some interesting cards to start. You're starting with the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things, coming to light, adapt, changing, and healing. Heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening the heart, getting together perfect. And wow, this must be just like living in paradise. <laughs> All right, who's that? <laughs> Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So it looks like um, someone here is coming to terms with the fact that you hold the key to their heart. And it is glorious. It is like a paradise. It's like, I can't even believe this, right? This is the energy of someone here we're picking up. Let's take a look and see what other messages there are here for you, Virgo. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Yeah. All right. What else does Virgo need to know here? 
Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay. Wow. Shocking. Yeah, Virgo. So, I mean, someone is like, it feels like a big revelation in in a shocking way. Like, you're, like, I feel like this person, you're, they're losing their top. <laughs> Not actually losing their top, but I feel like somebody here is definitely like blown away uh, or will be blown away by, um, by you, you know, um, let me see what else is going on here. There's someone here who's just completely like blown away. That's, that's the, the majority of the message. Let's see what else is going on here for you. Oh my gosh, Virgo. Okay. King of Wands. So, yep. So Mars energy could be Aries. Definitely for some with the towers, the Scorpio energy, but, um, it looks like you're going to be connecting with a fire sign. Okay, there's a connection. There's a fire sign showing up here. Let me see. Now, I will tell you this person, very um, sensual, so to speak, okay? And this person showing up very curious about you, wants to talk to you, wants to ask you some questions, get to know you. There'll be some text messages or communication, um, with this person or a, a lot of communication. I feel like somebody, this person is speaking, spying, asking around about you, watching you in some way. And I, I don't know, show me this, this, uh, this tower, this shock, this wow, devil, obsessive. Someone here just crazy obsessed this king of wands crazy obsessed um a lot of physical and um physical passion as well a lot of sexual energy as well uh, let me see here <laughs> if this person is watching you or is just like coming like they realize that like you're like you're the one they they want that's what i feel like is something like that let me see what else is going on here Oh, yeah. So this is a little bit of a secret. But they intuitively know also that oh, you're something. Oh, yeah. You're something. You fancy, Virgo. You fancy. I feel like somebody here is, th they're kind of keeping it a secret. They're keeping it to themselves. They're not seeing anything, um, at least to other people. Okay? They're not letting anybody else know. I just feel like this person has like a boom moment, you know, like, let me see, a lot of major arcana, definitely wanting to talk to you though, you might get a call or a phone call, I mean, or a message or something along those lines, oh yeah, this person, um, Wow, three of wands. So this phone call, I feel, or this message, whatever it is, um, is going to be around... Okay, so they're saying somebody wanting to make some plans with you or to talk about um, getting together or traveling um, or to meet up with you. This king of wands wanting to meet up with you. Okay, and we'll be waiting. They might have already left you a message or sent something to you, and they're kind of waiting to hear back as well. Um, if they've already done that, they're waiting to hear back. If they haven't, they will be sending you a message and hoping you will you will reply. But I feel like I feel like this person just they feel like you have the key to their heart. You have the key, and it's just like you're everything to them. You want that paradise. <clears throat> it's funny because it's happiness, expansion, and joy. And this Three of Wands is also a card of expansion. Okay, Virgo, so um, I feel like this person wants to like spend some time with you and see if you can build something together. Um, this might be at a distance. You guys might be at some kind of a distance as well. You know, maybe across the water for some of you. 
Let me see what else is going on here, Virgo. I mean, this person, I just feel like, even with that devil, it could be a Capricorn or a Pisces, but even with this devil card, I mean, this is like somebody's coming to terms or coming to realize that, like, that you're all that they can think about. You know, that obsession kind of energy. This devil, um, this devil, this king of wands either has it now or will be feeling this pretty damn strongly. Um, like they can't let you go, like chained, like you're it for them. Okay, tell me more, or t at least tell Virgo more about this king of wands. Because the king of wands shows up as someone who's very bold and what? very bold and passionate and fiery can be very lustful but not immature or anything like that i feel like this this person wants you virgo like this this person really wants to they just want to be with you let me see why are they keeping this to themselves right now and they're just kind of watching they're not seeing anything so why are they just looking but really not seeing anything directly to you why haven't they done that yet or what's going on all right, so they're definitely in decision mode here with this two of wands. Um, I feel like this person is kind of like weighing their options a little bit and well, not necessarily weighing their options, but just trying to figure out a, a little bit like, I'm not so sure if it's when or if it's if they should reach out to you. Okay. Um, I but I kind of feel like the, the question, if they do, are you going to respond? Or are you going to be interested? Virgo, this is crazy because King of Wands is not someone who lacks confidence ever. But there's something here that you make this person kind of weak at the knees where they're a bit intimidated or um, they don't want to be rejected, which is so not the King of Wands. So they're keeping it to themselves. And also, I want to find out, like, what else is going on, why it's a secret, or a little more clarification. Okay. The Emperor. Wow. Hmm. Okay. So, for some of you, this person is kind of hesitating. Um, they're watching, trying to get information on you to see if you have somebody else, or if there's anyone else in the picture. Um... If you are married or you have a significant other okay um, but I don't feel like that's gonna make them stop I feel like right now at least or in July they're just trying to gauge to see if you have somebody else or if there's anyone else that is going to be an obstacle or if they're gonna have to fight someone for you <laughs> Wow Virgo okay so there's also possibly an issue with another male in their life, maybe a father figure or another male in their life um, that they're talking to right now that is kind of influencing their decision. Um, or they might be talking to another male that you know, trying to get information on whether or not you're single or if you're just on your own or what's going on let me see um show me this tower and the devil i knew this was gonna i knew this was gonna happen six of cups is in the reverse um okay let me just say this with the six of cups in the reverse virgo this person is um <laughs> They are a little, they have like some unrealistic expectation, you know, like they're a little uh, overly confident. I will say that in that they know that you will say yes, like in their heart, it, not in their heart, but like maybe in their head, there might be a little bit of ego that they, they tell themselves, there's no way Virgo is going to resist me because I'm amazing, <laughs> you know, and I feel like this person might they, they just have a very strong charisma or sexual attraction or kind of they're very alluring um and 
I feel like this person knows that they have um, the weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know where that came from. That will... <laughs> that they're just like all about that about themselves or they're just like i can annihilate virgo and virgo knows it and will keep coming back for more <laughs> like okay stop already stop but i also feel like this person's stuck on you they're stuck on you virgo so i don't know if they see, they see you somewhere or they've seen you or you've met them or maybe you know them this could be someone from your past who's still crazy stuck on you and also they are if you've been with them before they are stuck on the physical pleasure and you know what you were able to do and you know all that stuff like they're just addicted you might as well face it you're addicted to love so there's a little bit of that kind of energy going on this person and their weapon of mass destruction so yeah virgo i mean this person's just got it bad for you and you're like paradise to them maybe maybe you did something and you brought them to paradise or they just kind of like they're so stuck on you that they want to find out if you don't know this person you know um but they're being a little strategic in that they are um they're trying to work it out they're being a little strategic and trying to work it out they don't want to have to get into the middle of some kind of fight <laughs> with um, a contender, but this person knows that they're a contender and they will win you over. It, they, they're very, so it doesn't mean that they will, but they think that they will. Okay, and let me just make that clear. This person just very high confident in that area when it comes to attracting someone to them. Oh my gosh. All these cards just flipped out, Virgo. So the Ace of Cups is here. My gosh, yeah. Holy, Ace of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Oh, hold on, you guys. Hey, I'm on the phone. I mean, I'm recording. I'll call you right back. Okay. Bye. All right. Sorry. So... Um, page of pentacles six of pentacles nine of pentacles i mean this person like virgo this is all you here and especially here like you are it virgo nine of pentacles you you got the you got the jewels virgo independent solo attractive fit healthy um one or all you've got something um very stable yeah, it's single as Pringle, very happy with where you are in your life to the best of your ability. You know, maybe you take care of your kids or you support other people. You know, um, <clears throat> you, some of you, you talk about money, uh, something to do with money. You have good creative ideas, financial, good financial creative ideas. You're patient. You know, you're... Um, you're not you're very conservative here you know you don't rush you don't rush into things but with this ace of cups it's like oh man there's like so like i mean virgo i feel like you are someone who's like you know that you have blessings in your life right but i feel like this person sees all this about you as well and you're just such a catch to this person and i feel like that's why they're being so strategic when it comes to um, trying to win you over, yeah, bring you that key to your heart. Like, this person is just trying to play their cards right. They don't want to screw up. Okay, so, five of swords in the reverse. Okay, um, oh my gosh, this is funny. Virgo, I feel like this person, you're going to find out. They're going to get caught. You're going to find out that this person is up to some tricks. So you're going to find out somehow. You're, you're going to hear something. You're going to see something um, before they actually approach you. You're going to find out. So someone's going to say something to you like, do you know this person, Virgo? They've been talking about you. Um, they've been asking around about you could be someone at work it could be you know wherever but i feel like you're gonna find out something there's gonna be a little bit of a clue a little bit of a giveaway um that you're gonna catch this person it's 
sneaking up on you or trying to inquire about you. And and they, they are trying to hide it because they're trying to be strategic so that they don't get rejected because they feel like this person does kind of have you up on a pedestal. A little bit of pedestal, Virgo. Yeah. I mean, you're just... In their eyes, it's not about how you feel about yourself. Because how you feel about yourself may not have anything to do with how somebody else sees you or feels about you. Okay? So don't project. But how this person sees you, even if you don't feel this way about yourself, they see you as being, oh my God, like unbelievably amazing, super cool, laid back, gr someone great to talk to, extremely attractive, someone who's like got their ish together i mean i i don't know if this person <clears throat> is around people like that but there's just something about you virgo and so you're gonna catch them they're gonna get caught watching you or something something's gonna happen and you're just gonna have that little aha moment like oh, oh okay so it sounds like hmm what's going on they're interested? What the heck's going on? Somebody's going to tell you a little secret. Little birdie's going to come in and you're going to get some kind of clue. Let me see. What's going to happen? Are they going to find out? Let me see. What's going to happen after that? Oh. Three of swords. Whoa. Huh. I don't get it. I, honestly, I'm asking what's going to happen after that. And the Three of Swords is here. There's some kind of argument. That's what they're telling me. But why? I think we need a little more spirit. Tell Virgo, like, what is going to happen after this person gets caught? Oh. Oh. It's not an argument. Now they're saying you're going to find out that this person. Um, okay. You're going to find out. I feel like from another person's going to come in and tell you that this person is heartbroken um, over some kind of separation or argument. Um, or uh, either with you, if it was someone you knew before, or with somebody else there somebody's gonna tell you this person is single um they went through a breakup through separation and divorce okay however you find out you're gonna find out somehow I, let me just so let me just ask how is virgo gonna find out about this person because i feel like you're gonna get a little clue before this person approaches you there is gonna be some message of some sort that you're gonna get about you know what's going on with this person okay all right yeah um i feel like it's going to be through a friend a friend or someone it, it doesn't have to be a friend it could be but it's it's someone it's just going to be like there's going to be a conversation right most of you are going to get a conversation with someone that's going to say hey guess what person you know king of wands you know they lost their person or you know whether it's through like somebody's passed away or um there's a breakup something's ended something along those lines that's kind of how you're gonna find out um but i feel like you're gonna get a lot of different clues you might get some weird phone calls or you might get some strange messages or something like that things are gonna just start falling into place where the first time you see something, you might be like, that's kind of crazy. Um, and just kind of brush it off. But then it's going to happen again. And then after that, it's, it's kind of like, you know, the first time you see a UFO, it's like, I'm not sure if that was real. And then you keep seeing it like three, four or five more times. It's like, okay, wait, something's up. So that's kind of like, that's how I feel the energy is going to be here. And um, there's going to be a coming together. This person is going to find out uh, or they're going to find out that you found out okay um and i feel like there's going to be an approach 
definitely in July. Um, where there's going to be some kind of a meetup or this person's going to ask you out or, you know, ask to meet up or talk or something along those lines or go for a date or something like that. Now show Virgo the death card. Why is the death card here? And that there is Scorpio energy because there's definitely a new love start happening here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's definitely something that's ended and some grief. Now, for those of you with the Six of Cups in the reverse, who have this being someone who has not let you go or has just, they're hurting. Um, very sad about something that's ended because you are it for them. Um, I feel like there's going to be an opportunity for you and this person to talk. If that's if you want it, okay? Um, if you want that. Um, it's what they want, though. It, it, there's a lot of, like grief and sadness attached to this person when it comes to you and them okay of something being over now as far as this being somebody new who just is like stuck on you okay there is an energy there of this king of wands um there'll be a conversation when you guys connect you know about their loss you know they are single there is nobody else in their life okay and how they're just trying to start their life over here okay but I, I i like that the honesty will come out because i feel like this person's truthful i just kind of feel like they were hoping to get <laughs> they didn't want you to know they don't want you to know that they're watching they don't want you to know that they're trying to scheme something up so that they can like be prepared um because they don't want to screw up that's what i keep hearing they want to do something right here but um, I do feel like they're going to find out that you find out and in create some crazy little way. I feel like they're going to be a little bit relieved um, about it. Okay. A little bit relieved, but they are going to approach. Now let's see when in July is this person going to approach Virgo. Oh, now you've got the king of cups here. So for some, this is a water sign. Okay. So let me see. Coming in with some very soft, compassionate, supportive, tender, loving energy. <gasps> Ooh, and the Queen of Cups. So there's a match here. That's for sure. Let me see. When are these two going to connect? Oh my God, you've got the star. Um, Virgo, the 17th of July. There's going to be a renew, renewal of healing, renewal of this relationship. There's going to be a renewed spirit. Um, this this feels very blessed. You know what I mean? This 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 connection, whether it's someone from the past, it could also be somebody new. It could be both happening at the same time. But you know, you know your story. Um, I mean, July seventeenth will be significant, and I kind of feel like I said that. Didn't I say that in one of my other readings that 17th was going to be significant? Was that the full moon? I can't remember now, but um, there's going to be fireworks. I'm telling you. Look at this. I think I said that in one of my last weekend's reading. There's fireworks here between you and this person. Like a match. You know, Virgo, you're showing up as a water sign. Um, watery energy this person's showing up in watery energy when you guys come together and what does that mean like it doesn't matter you're a virgo this person could their sun sign could be a fire sign you know but it, when you two come together th this connection here there's healing of the emotions there's um both being on the same page emotionally supporting each other loving each other being kind and sincere to each other i mean that kind of feels like the outcome of this in july so you are definitely going to be connecting with this person i mean it's in the cards it's not destined though so remember that so when i give you a tower card reading i'm telling you the messages that i'm getting but you're in control of your destiny always you're in control of your fate you know is it fated to happen yes doesn't mean it will not necessarily because you can change that you can deny and you can say yes you know so it's completely up to you let me just get a couple of messages of love here because i want to see what else is going on here because i do feel like this person is just 
Pot to trot for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The rocket ship's going off. Yeah, look, support, leaning on the inner circle during this time. This person may be part of your inner circle or becomes part of your inner circle. Like I said, very supportive energy here between you and this person. I feel like my lights are getting darker. Let me see. Hold on. Right, hopefully that helps. What other messages for Virgo? Protected. You are safe and divinely guided. I'm just picking up like rocket ships, weapons of mass destruction, missiles. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> Denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth, Virgo. Very good. Okay. I don't know what that means for you, but that's a message for somebody. You also have go slow. Take time to get to know each other. And I do feel like this person wants to get to know you. And I feel like you will want to get to know them. Um, and, you know, obviously I know some of you are like... There was a past person that was really horrible and you're done with that person. I totally get it. You're not going back. That's fine. Because for some of you, um, at those of you in that position, I, like I said, I do feel like there is somebody new as well. I was feeling that at first. And then what I was feeling is that this person can't get you out of their head. But then I was also picking up that there's a small percentage of you, of you where this is a past person, okay? Someone who's still stuck on you, right? So different pages, you and this person don't share the same um, values, okay? So I do feel like for some of you, that is your past person comes back and you're just like, nah, we're just not even on the same page. I'm sorry you're stuck on me. I don't blame you. I mean, have you seen me? <laughs> Virgo's like, but you know... It is what it is. And for others, it's just like, okay, well, you know, I still love you. And, you know, you obviously still love me. So let's see if there's anything to salvage. We could try. But if not, you know, then we just keep it moving. Let me see what other message there is here for you. Okay, right? So there's, that confirms it right there. New love or recommitment to love develops in July. Like I said, Virgo. Okay, so you got to take it with a grain of salt. Okay. Um, it's hard to do readings when I've got two different energies showing up. I feel like in my readings, a lot of the time, this does happen. And I don't watch other readings, so I don't know if it happens on other channels with other readers. But I do feel like there is some hope here between you and another person. And I have to say that. Um, but again, at the end of the day, you kind of have to want... You know, if you if you don't see there's anything salvageable with someone, maybe there's just friendship. Maybe that's the best both of you can arrive at, right? And maybe that'll be enough. And for others, it's like, nope, how did you even get my phone number again? <laughs> I know, I hear it. I see you guys in the chat. How did you even get through? I thought I blocked you. You know, a lot of that stuff going on. So, um, but I just got to give the message. All right, let me see what the moon and pie tarot messages are and if you want to get this deck there's a link in the description box below okay so you have a hangman all right no i'm sorry this is um the moon again okay although there may not be enough light to see ahead the shadows may be kind of scary only believe in what you can see and not what your mind's tricks may tell you. Trust your intuition when in doubt of a situation, but remain still until more information is available and you're being asked to take caution, right? Because some things are going to be revealed to you. The whole moon energy for July is there's going to be these little things that happen in July in regards to this person. And... Like I said, it's not going to make sense the first time. You're not going to trust yourself. Or, you're just, or other people are going to say something to you and make you doubt stuff. But I feel like as time goes on and then these things begin happening more and more, then it's going to be something where you're like, okay, I'm not going crazy. This situation, what I think is going on is this is what's happening. Okay, so you've got a new love start in July. Just keep that in mind, July 17th something significant new love is starting okay and still undecided yeah virgo well right now probably as you're listening to this and maybe as you go through july you might not be sure because like i said you're not going to have all the information okay cupid's arrows love messages 
and travel. So I'm telling you, Virgo, there's something happening here. For somebody, for one of you Virgos, there's definitely something occurring. Let's see what your Chinese signs are. I'm sorry, your, um, no wait, yeah, your Chinese signs, I'm all backwards. All right, let's see. What is this person's Chinese sign and or Virgo's Chinese sign? And if you aren't sure what your Chinese sign is, you can just Google it. Look up Chinese Zodiac and then type in the year you were born. And that should um, complete the picture. Hold on. Dropping things. Okay, let's see. Okay, year of the tiger. Year of the rat. Year of the ox. Year of the monkey, year of the snake, year of the rabbit, and we have the monkey again, we have a snake again, year of the goat, rabbit again, did I say tiger? I think I did, can't remember, okay, well we have year of the tiger, yeah I did, okay. Hold on. Oh, and you're the dragon. Okay, Virgo. So those are the Chinese signs. It could be yours. It could be theirs. It could be neither. Uh, just take it as it resonates. Let's see. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what your other random messages here for Virgo. What other random messages are here for Virgo? Oh. A bunch of bunch, bunch of bananas. All right, so definitely a same-sex relationship. Okay, and hmm. All right, there's. I just saw they came in the face of an actor. I forget his name. He was in a TV show called Twenty Four, and I think he was in Lost Boys. Sutherland, Kiefer Sutherland. Okay, I don't know what the connection is there, but they just showed me Kiefer Sutherland. If you know who he is. I mean, I'm sure you guys do, because most of you guys are, you know, from that time period. Um, okay, so they're just also giving me the number 4310. Okay. Um, now, somebody's got their suitcases packed. They're at the door. They're going somewhere. Okay. And um, so I'm getting the initials. All right, they just said Zach. The, the name Zach. I'm also picking up the letter C, um, X. Also the letter I. And I've got 310. And someone is 42. Or 23. That could be the year of the birth. That could be your birth date. That could be your age. Okay. And um, someone is Japanese, I think. I can't. I, I think it's Japanese or someone. I'm seeing a short, short hair Asian person. Short hair Asian person. Okay. And um, I'm also seeing fresh apple pie. Okay, fresh apple. Oh, and now they're also showing me someone's line dancing, country line dancing. So we went from apple pie to country line dancing. I mean, hey, you get what you get here. Okay, let me see. We also have someone's birthdays in April. Okay. Oh. We have the letter H and um, the Little Mermaid. They just gave me the Little Mermaid. Ariel, the Little Mermaid. Isn't there the Little Mermaid just came out or something? Was it a musical? And there's fish and dolphins and mammals, sea creatures, and a little girl. Little Mermaid and a little girl. So I don't know if somebody went to see that or they're watching it with a little with a child or it could be a little boy that has longish hair it's blonde there's blonde ok 
Okay, let me see. Or just a child. Let me see. Okay. Oh, beach towel. Bright red. Who's got a bright red beach towel? Huh. Okay. <laughs> Two people running towards each other in a hazy, warm field. <laughs> Like an old movie. Maybe you saw that in a movie or something. Um, I'm also seeing two people fighting over the over a child. Either custody or just fighting over a child. Arguing over a child. And there's also something about um, two people going to pick a child up, but it's only one parent's time with the child. Somebody makes a mistake. I'm hearing that. Okay. Um, I'm also getting the letter K and the letter F, as in Frank or Philomena, they just said. Okay. Oh, Virgo, your person. This person is kinky. Very kinky. Somebody, or somebody is. Maybe it's you, Virgo. Very kinky. A little kink. Maybe you like the kinks. Something to do with kink here. Okay, let me see. Just a couple more. And then we'll move on to, okay, hmm, someone has like a Grecian um, cookware or a vase, it's like blue and white. <clears throat> and there's a plant, there's a plant in a blue and white vase, I guess that's what they're telling me, plant in a blue and white vase. Someone's also, um, like in a study or a library, maybe listening to this, reading. A lot of books. I just see a lot of books. Okay. Hmm. So they just gave me jellyfish also. They just said, um, watch out for the jellyfish. That guy out through my window better not be letting his dog poop on my grass and not picking it up. So I need I know what he looks like now. I'm gonna go find him if he doesn't pick that up. <laughs> I don't like don't leave a mess. That's disgusting. Pick up your dog's poop. Don't leave a mess. Okay, let me see. Last one. Alright, we've got someone's uh, alright, so letter J, someone's name, initial J or JJ. Okay. And mm, someone starts with an E, Elizabeth, Edward, there's an E. I'm hearing an E. Okay. And, uh, um, okay. They just said, this is strange. Um, there's a competition, a game, a competition, some kind of sport or something where there's going to be a win that's connected to you. There's a win, right? Somehow, some way, that's connected to you. Um, there's a win. The team's going to win. That's what I just heard. The team's going to win. Okay. And now they're giving me um, Purple Rain. Do you guys remember? I used to channel Prince like last year or the year before. It was nothing but Prince all the time. I don't know if anybody was here with me then. Maybe you were. But they're just giving me that song, Purple Rain. Okay. All right, Aquarius, Leo, Aquarius twice, and Virgo, Aquarius, Leo, and Virgo. Okay, so Virgo, you might have a connection with Aquarius or Leo. Someone is 50. Um, okay, someone, September 9th, I'm also picking up 1988, 1991. Um, okay, so they're giving me these. All right, you've got the 111. You also have, all right, four, so I'm, it's four numbers from a phone number, 1116, okay, and 1675, okay. Okay. 
Okay. Ooh. All right. 1010. Maybe that's somebody's house address. 1010. We also have the age 54. We have 41. Okay. And we have number 117 and 112. And they're also giving me, okay, November 1974. Mm -hmm. And April 12th. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh wait, I want to get I want to get your birth dates. My apologies. I'm a little off. I've had quite a weekend. All right. So September 18th, September 3rd, September 9th, um, September 10th, September 5th, and September 4th. Okay. And any August can't forget the August Virgos. All right, August 27th, 29th, uh, 20, no, 22nd, no. Well, could be, somebody might think they're a Virgo. And August 24th, okay. Um, so if I don't call your birth date, just so you guys know, it doesn't mean it's not your reading, all right? Just keep that in mind, okay? Um, yeah, and I, and I just, I saw the 29th, but I'm not sure if I said August 29th or not. Okay, let's get your charms. What's a charm for Virgo that Virgo needs to know? Oh, that's not a charm. Okay, let's see. All right, I have no idea what the hell that is. <laughs> it looks like a drill. Um, is that a drill, you guys? I guess it is. It's a two-handed drill. So I don't know if that resonates for anyone. Something to do with a two-handed drill. Somebody using a drill or maybe it's caulk, caulk gun. Or maybe it's a dashund with a cast. I don't know. Um, <laughs> are some of you caulking? <laughs> But yeah, this is some kind of like drill. I feel like it's a drill. So somebody's working with a drill or someone uses a drill. Drill is very significant um, for someone. Okay. You also have, hold on, let me get your cards here. You also have a love heart. Wow. Okay, wait, hold on, you guys. Just get a few. There's a couple of charms here. Hold on. Okay. Virgo, I can tell you right now, um, somebody's coming in to fill that other half of a broken heart for you. Absolutely. Okay, love is good. love is on the table. Um, maybe somebody likes to eat black and white cookies. I don't know if you've ever had one. I have not, but I've seen them everywhere. A black and white cookie, they just said. Very significant for someone. You also have a hamsa right here, which represents protection, a symbol of protection. And I do feel like you, uh, the message that you had in your reading was that you were pr divinely protected. Okay. Or you have something, maybe, maybe you have some henna or some kind of henna design. Um, I don't know. It could be for marriage. Some of you might actually have it for legit reasons or you just like to get it done. Uh, henna tattoo or maybe someone got one, I don't know, over the weekend or something. And also, um, wow, you've got um, an anchor here. So there's some kind of connection to a boat or a ship. Um, either you were on one or you know someone that has one or you have one um, or you did something over the weekend or you will be doing some sailing or putting an anchor down, doing something over the week or the, the rest of July as well. Um, I don't know. What are you going to like eat black and white cookies on a on a boat while you're fishing with your lover? I don't know. What are you doing? <laughs> Virgo, what are you doing? <laughs> Somebody's got to like get the drill, repair the boat. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But yeah, here you go. Someone's coming in with that wand, Virgo. Let me just tell you, or it's you. <laughs> but I'm going to leave your reading there. That was a lot of fun. Um, I'll be back here tomorrow with your weekend reading, of course. And uh, please do book a reading. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, feel free. And uh, yeah, I have to go make some calls. So have a great night, you guys. And I will see you all back here tomorrow. Love you. Bye.
Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Please keep in mind this is going to be an oracle reading for this weekend. Some messages may or may not be for you. Take what fits, leave the rest. As always, this is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus but all signs are welcome. And also Virgo, if you would like to donate to my fundraiser uh, to help rescue children, there is a link in the description box below the video. Um, you can also donate here for the operate our, our underground, Operation Underground Rescue here um, attached to the Sound of Freedom movie that is now out in theaters. I do implore you to go see that if you get some time um, or you can simply donate to their fundraiser. I do not receive any profit from that. Okay. So yeah, let's take a look. Virgo. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Virgo. What the heck? So you've got twin soul. Communicate your uh, love to the divine. Be thankful for this twin soul love. You've been chosen for one another. Even when times are tough and seem back and forth, this love was meant to be, and it's time to reconcile. You've got a new love start, and you're being asked to take a risk here. Starting over can be tough, but it's time to spread your wings. Don't overthink it, okay? So some of you might be connecting with a twin soul love over the weekend, okay? Something new is starting here. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, well, I thought my last person was my twin soul, or uh, and it didn't work out, and so maybe that wasn't your person. I like to use the word twin soul because sometimes it can be a soulmate connection where it may feel like it, there's a deeper connection than just the soulmate thing. Okay, um, I like to feel uh, I like to feel like the the twin flame connection is equivalent to the depths of the ocean where the soulmate connection might be like in the shallow water you know um so you're also being asked here to um sit with your higher power this weekend or sit with spirit of the divine this weekend as well um to connect to that spirit within you to the light within you okay um something here about really building that relationship with spirit and with your your soul with yourself really important and for some it's just a new love start for self you know which is great so some of you are on this journey for sure um yes you may be connecting with someone whom you find is your person that energy is playing out here and for others there is it could be both that there is an energy with connecting with self here. So some of you, as far as connecting with yourself, there's a starting over energy. Um, and you're being asked to really come home. Come home to who you are. Spread your wings. Don't worry about what other people think. Don't overthink it. Take a risk. Um, be yourself, Virgo, whoever that is. Or if you need to discover who that is, I, you know, Virgo, you have been there the whole time. You're not lost, okay? Um, you just have to look inward, right? Um, I'm just getting a really strong message about that. Um, sometimes I think people tend to feel like they don't know who they are and they feel lost because they're not connecting with this divine soul within themselves. You take a little time over this weekend, Virgo, to do that and really like ask yourself, you know, who am I? What do I like to do? What do I enjoy? But it's also about... Sometimes we feel lost because we're just not accepting who we are. And when we're not accepting who we are, we're looking for personalities to copy or we're looking for masks to wear. Um, this is kind of like taking the mask off of yourself and accepting yourself 100%, flaws and all, Virgo, and taking a risk to do that. That's a scary thing to turn inward and say, yeah, I'm not great in this area, but you know what? That's okay because I can improve. So... On that front, yeah, I feel like there's a big energy shift of connecting with self over this weekend. It feels like a very spiritual growth phase that you will be experiencing over the weekend, especially. But also, there is a new love situation <laughs> occurring here. And I did say that in yesterday's reading. So I would go back to yesterday and check out that reading because it might resonate for you in some ways. Um, I feel like there's a relationship that has been very 
back and forth very back and forth on and off kind of thing and I there is a reconciliation happening here with someone okay or your higher power whichever you know but either way there's definitely a new beginning this is a new love start with somebody else and or a new love start with self or maybe both Virgo so I like that energy you know because this just I don't know it's beautiful I just like it it's just beautiful just beautiful Virgo okay so you're being asked here not to overthink things so I feel like this card was created just for you spread your wings don't overthink it Virgo <laughs> and we know how Virgo can go down a rabbit hole and start with one thing and then just freaking disappear into that then forget where you started or why you started so you've got endure and be patient so I also feel like don't quit Virgo I'm hearing take your time be patient with yourself be patient with another person as well don't give up no matter how difficult I'm feeling a difficulty for you a tough a tough time um, I'm feeling um, the way you endure and find a peace place of calm and um, to get through something is the message here is to find gratitude in it right so if you are able to kind of turn things around in your mind you know uh, glass half full glass half empty energy here I feel like that will help you endure some type of situation that you um, are experiencing over this weekend and um, <clears throat> will help you to get into a place of calm that's the number one thing I feel like is to get yourself calm first as you go through you, you glide through something here much easier um, if you calm yourself so there's some kind of risk that it looks like you've got to take <clears throat> And um, or you're taking some kind of risk or there's something that's being placed before you that um, you know you have to do I mean I don't know like how much of it you have to do I guess you could turn around and say no but if you don't take the risk um, you don't get this new love start you know so I feel like the message here is calm yourself get yourself practice breathing practice calming yourself prior to this jumping off this cliff scenario practice calming yourself first okay whatever this risk is I mean I kind of feel like you know the message here is what have you got to lose well I feel like what you could have to lose is love you know love always comes with risk it's never without it you know we always take that chance when it comes to not only loving other people but loving ourselves you know we it, it's a big risk and I always feel like you know your weak parts aren't going to get strong unless you strengthen them you know operate out of your strengths and not your weaknesses so you've got direct direct honest female here so this is your energy Virgo this is you getting honest with yourself absolutely and being strategic but pulling the wool off of your eyes that either you put there or somebody else has put there okay um, total honesty complete honesty and what does that mean that doesn't mean um, just the negative aspects of things it also means the positives it also means taking an objective view of yourself this is all about self-acceptance as well but you may also be in encountering someone who is a direct honest female and that would be someone who is a air sign okay Gemini Libra Aquarius yeah look at that man Virgo you're like you are pff, look at this taking a risk and hitting rock bottom this is jumping off the cliff for sure and and hitting rock bottom and what's at the bottom there that's like surrender when you hit rock bottom well, I don't know what you're going through here Virgo it, it it feels kind of vague I, I'm, they're not giving me specifics but I will tell you that this weekend you're gonna come to yourself about everything 
this weekend and you're going to need to be really patient and endure this i don't feel like it's negative because i feel like at the outset of this there is a new love beginning happening here for you okay now let me see what else is going on yeah there's a lot of surrender and you're being asked to surrender to something this weekend and you know putting it in spirit's hands jesus take the wheel whatever you got to do get your faith put your faith where it needs to be faith in yourself even okay yep put your faith where it needs to be put in the effort here when it comes to your faith i feel like that's really needed you're very very intuitive you get all the downloads i get it you understand things but you're lacking some faith in something here and it might be in yourself and you know what virgo you got this. That's what I feel like is the, the message here. You got this. Whether this is a new relationship or a task that you're doing, you got this. You're going to be okay. Okay? Look at that. You've got a love offer. Yeah, it's being handed to you. So this is really the Ace of Cups this weekend. It's a blessing. This is grace. You're receiving some kind of a blessing. There's a new beginning that has the potential to send you on this journey where I feel like you are, you're going to reconnect again, right? So if you've been feeling disconnected because of some kind of off and on situation, you're really going to get in down into the trenches is what I feel here. And uh, this is either with another person, like I said, or some kind of task you're doing. But I feel like you're being guided as well. Like you're not going through this situation by yourself. There's definitely um, a love offer coming from someone too. Especially over this weekend. Okay. Material wish being granted. Wow. This is amazing, Virgo. Um, something that you've wanted... I don't know if you've been rubbing that genie bottle, Virgo, but or the genie lamp, but you're definitely going to be getting something this weekend, a wish that you've been wanting in the material world, okay? So metal, wood, uh, all of the elements, fire, uh, anything associated to something you've been wishing for, definitely going to be coming to you. This is... This is also um, a wish being materialized, okay? So I'm giving the, they're giving me the image of the five of, um, I'm sorry, the seven of cups. They're giving me the image of the, of the seven of cups where your dreams, a lot of ideas and emotional uh, wishes that you have in your heart, things that you've, you've wanted or that you've desired, okay? Um, when you go about your day and, and you think about, you know, the things that you, I'm sure there's more than one. Um, I, I just kind of see them all floating up there in the air and they're a bit opaque. So you really can't, they're like little ghosts. If you try to grab at your wishes, um, they haven't materialized yet or they're, they've become solid. And I feel like one of those wishes, one of those things that you've wanted kind of solidifies so you can it becomes tangible for you and it's something that you're going to be able to work with all right for some of you it's money something to do with finance finances money okay so if you've been wishing that you had um that bonus or if you've been wishing for um a better paying position or if you've been wishing for help um, financial help in some way, or if you've been wishing um, to receive a loan, um, I feel like that will be granted over this weekend for you, or there's news about it that comes in, okay? And that's kind of like a little off kilter to the rest of the story, so I feel like it's a little bit of a bonus, but I got to tell you something, in order for that to come in, I feel like you need to or just to have some wish granted, you need to take a risk. Okay? You need to take some kind of a risk. You need to do something here. You need to get out of your comfort zone. Come out of hermit mode. And open yourself up to this. It might even just be that. You might not even need to take action. 
you just the only action you may need to be taking over this weekend is to just open yourself up to receive to la allowing this good thing to happen into your life okay but yeah some of you are maybe hitting a little bit of a jackpot Virgo you gonna rub off some scratchies I don't know what you're doing there but there's definitely gonna be some good news Wow, you've got a new chapter, for sure. Out with the old, in with the new. Okay. Look back on the past one more time if you must, but only to help write the next new page of your book. Travel, explore the world, explore space, the seas, explore your psyche, explore your soul. Learn, meet new people, live your best life, and allow the past to cycle out. A new journey is ahead. Take someone with you or go solo, but go. So there might be a trip that you are going to be taking or you have to take that, I don't know, might seem a little risque to you for some reason. Or maybe you have a fear of starting something or going on a journey or taking a trip. Um, you're being called to do this because this is going to increase your growth for sure. And there's beautiful love on the other side of that and if you could stay focused on the glorious pot of gold at the end of the rainbow because that's what's on the other side it's going to pay off for you okay whether that's in love or a journey you're taking or a task that you're doing um you're being called to start this new chapter and you know for some of you you might have had this on your mind for some time or you've got something you've planned or something like i said that you've wanted Will you do it this weekend, maybe? Or will you start planning or thinking a little more seriously about it over the weekend? Yes. I just, I'm not seeing anything here about fear. There might be a concern that you might jump off that cliff and your parachute doesn't work. And I mean that uh, figuratively, um, that you might smack down there on the ground, but I understand too that if you're holding on to the edge it takes so much more strength to hold on than it does to let go the only reason we don't let go is because we fear the unknown or we fear that we might get hurt if we let go or we fear we might lose something if we let go but imagine if you're holding on with your fingertips on the edge of a cliff all the strength and the energy it takes <clears throat> just to hold on sometimes it's easier just to increase your faith and let go and let the chips fall where they may and i feel like your message here for this weekend is to really begin considering something here with that and you know if you've got a lot of fear um, if you don't you might have regret don't live your life with regret if you have to make a fool of yourself <laughs> make a fool of yourself don't waste don't do anything or don't not do anything if there's going to be regret at the end of it live your life it's all about your faith virgo it's all about gaining that strength and those gains to make this move whatever this move is if this is connecting with someone here I mean, it's, it's, you're being asked to reconcile or someone will be trying to reconcile with you. There's something holding you back. Is it ego? I mean, and I'm not talking to those of you that someone has placed hands on you physically or there was abuse. I'm not talking about that. If that's your situation, this is not your message. If you've left that situation, you did the right thing. That was that was this message. That was the risk. And you've taken it already. And that was good. This is for those of you who don't have that situation going on. But your ego might be in the way of something. Okay. Some of you, maybe you just need to put something to rest. Maybe that's the risk. So that you can have this new chapter. And have a new love. I knew, I knew that was going to show up. You got the past returning. Yeah, there's something here. You may be standing, like I said, you're standing on the edge of this cliff, either to revisit your past 
maybe you revisit your childhood, you go on that journey, maybe you get some hypnosis or something, um, or there's someone, people, places, and things in the past that are coming back up, they're resurfacing. Um, and I feel like there's a jumping off point here. There's a springboard because this is going to be the pivot to your journey, right? What you do here. Some For some of you, this risk is to shut the door on the past. For others, this is to let the past in, reduce the ego, and try to go on this love journey with another person here, okay? So take it as it resonates. It's one or the other, depending on who you are and what your situation is, okay? Some of you might be in a situation oh, where you're deciding to break free and go no contact with someone, okay? That might be your situation, and that might be the risk that you need to take, and that might be a big deal for you. Because why do you go no contact? You go no contact to save your soul, <laughs> and that might be a, a rock-bottom moment for you something that you got to do here and no contact doesn't have time limit it's just the purpose of it is so that you can unhook yourself from something if you have been hooked to unhook yourself from something and turn inward and reattach to yourself okay um for some of you you're breaking no contact or someone else is breaking no contact and then you're faced with a past situation. Okay. So you got a lot going on this this weekend, Virgo. This isn't this is very spiritual. This has to do with your growth. Okay. Um a lot of this has to do with um, not so much barbecues and being at the pool and going on dates. This is more about your internal, your soul. What I feel like these messages are. Okay, you keep getting this material gift. You might be receiving, and so if we're going to deal with everyday things, there's a gift also, actual gift being given to you, material gift you will receive over this weekend. This could be a ring. This could be a car. <laughs> this could be a house. could be tickets somewhere. Um, you're, something's going to change you over this weekend, Virgo. I'm telling you. You are going, when this, I'm, I just feel this energy so strong. I don't know what exactly the situation is, but you're going to come to your purpose over this weekend, if you haven't already. And something is really going to trigger where you're going to say, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. I would love for you to leave me comments and let me know what that message is that you've come to what your purpose is okay look spiritual principles that's what i'm talking about it's a very spiritual reading and it you know yeah there's there's definitely going to be a love possibly romantic new beginning happening here over the weekend but spiritual principles traditional roles bring structure and help aid you on your path what are your spiritual beliefs will you conform what path are you on to lead you into where you'd like to go? This is a weekend about checking yourself as well. Who are you? Where do you stand? What do you believe in? What is most important to you? Who is most important to you in your life? What is your character? Where do you want to go, Virgo, in your life? What do you envision for your future in the next five years? Okay. Popular social female in reverse. I, you know what? <laughs> Virgo, turn this, up, turn this up right. The popular social female in reverse is someone who is dull, apathetic she's angry she's cold she's aggressive she feels weak and she's someone who's not ready and i feel like this is kind of 
well, I don't, I don't mean to say it in a negative way. I don't want you to take it like I, th- you know what I mean. Like I'm trying, not trying to insult you, but Virgos have tough, thick skin, so you understand. Um, I feel like you, maybe you feel this way about yourself, or you've become this person. Popular social female in the upright is someone who is confident, self-assured. She's bold. She's a leader. She's powerful, charming, and courageous. This is where you're you're needing to go. It doesn't necessarily mean you're out there with the best shoes and you've got all the, the drama and the party and the fun. No, this is more about who you are internally, who you are with other people as far as the rapport that you have with others. Are you well-liked? Are you someone who is... People, when they walk away from you, they feel like they've improved in who they are, right? When people walk away from you, they feel like someone actually cares about them. They look back on you and and all they can say is, what a kind, generous, sincere person Virgo is. So maybe you haven't been feeling that way about yourself. Maybe you have been struggling with being too kind, too giving. And because of that, you've gone inward and have isolated or made yourself a bit of a hermit because of that. So there's always this balance, right, to try to achieve. You don't want to give so much that you lose yourself. You want to just give just enough, but you have to take care of yourself. And that's what a popular social female does, right? She takes care of herself. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. So that she has the resources and the energy to give to others, okay? Um, So there's a little bit of an awakening happening here over the weekend for yourself, perhaps. In understanding who you are. and, And, you know, creating some boundaries. So I always like to believe that boundaries really aren't for other people. They're for ourselves. When we create boundaries for ourselves... People have to respect our boundaries by default because we've created them for ourselves, okay? It's not for other people. We don't have to go around and tag every single person we meet with which boundary they're allowed or not allowed to cross. We just have to create one solid boundary for ourselves with how far we are willing to go. We just have to tag ourselves, that's all. And when we present ourselves to others, they see our boundaries and then they come to realize where they can or cannot cross, right? I always like to, to look at it that way. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. I'm not a doctor or a psychologist. I just kind of feel like, why put up 8,000 different boundaries for so many people? It's so confusing and so much to keep track of. No, I'm just going to be who I am and be who, you know, what my traditional roles where my t- integrity is, what my belief is. Will I, what will I and won't, will I conform to, right? I only have to check myself. I don't have to check other people. I only have to check myself, right? So, okay. Look, peace, the influence of balance and harmony come upon you. Leave things be and allow spirit to work in your life. All good things are happening behind the scenes, Virgo. Trust the process. Trust that spirit is working in your life. Even when you feel discouraged, be patient and trust his timing. Simmer down. (laughs) Get into a place of peace. Everything works out. When we're in a place of peace, things come to us when we're in a place of peace. Things get messed up the more we fiddle with them, right? Sometimes we just got to leave things alone, let the chips fall where they may. And and let, I like to just say, let God work it out in your life, right? Just give it over. Just be like, you know what? I'm just going to trust and I'm just going to keep the faith. And I'm just going to believe that things are going to work out for the best for me. And that's an energy of positive thinking, right? So I feel like for you, Virgo, you're going to definitely come to some real profound things over this weekend. Um, hmm. And you're going to be able to make some new plans for yourself. New plans are evolving in your life, but you've got to make cross this threshold. This is what I feel like. You have to take this risk and cross this threshold. Otherwise, you're stagnant. Just do one thing. Just take one small step. You don't have to take on the world, okay? It's just turn one page, one small step, and I feel like for you, build it up. Layer 
start layering in your life, one on top of the other. And by the time you're finished, you've created the, the tallest, most solid brick building you could ever create, right? You're building mountains, but mountains are built step by step, bit by bit, okay? Like the pyramids, right? Look how long it took to create the pyramids to build those. A lot of work involved, but it was more than one person that did it, and it, it made the load a lot easier because there's help, right? So whatever you're trying to build here in your life, um, don't set yourself up to fail. Whatever you're trying to create, just take it bit by bit, consistency, day by day. Don't give up. Don't quit. Just keep at it. And by the time you look back, you'll see how far you've come. You'll see how much you've created and how much you've built, right? That will take the stress off for sure. If you haven't been out of your house in eight years, um, just step out the door and sit on the porch for five minutes. Now you've been out of the house. And then the next day, go out for 10 minutes, you know? If you have a fear of people, start interacting with people online. And then... Um, Try to get yourself maybe a little bit outside to talk to the neighbor. So say hello to the mailman. You know, little little baby steps. I know these are extreme examples, but, you know, I, that's what's coming to me right now. Uh, and I feel like for those people that I'm giving that extreme example, you might have been through some pretty extreme things. So I, I guess I would be talking to you. Uh, but just baby steps, a little bit by little bit. Wow, so you've got a committed love relationship. <laughs> Something on the love front for sure is happening over this weekend. Either this is, and so I, I just want to, because I don't want to leave you where it's just only you, okay? Um, for some of you, this is committing to loving yourself, okay? And if you can do that, you're good. If you can't commit to loving yourself and you can only commit to loving other people, you're not going to, you're going to fail at that. Okay. If you can commit to loving yourself, commit to yourself, see how well you do with that, because that's, that's going to show in how well you are in your committed relationships. Right. Um, I always like to say <laughs> when you date someone before you date, give them a plan, <laughs> right? <laughs> Give them a plant and say to them, here, take care of this plant for like a week. Let's see how you do. <laughs> or give it to yourself if you're not someone. I'm always in my garden. I'm always working on my plants. But if you can take care of a plant, if you can take care of a baby, if you can take care of a plant for a week straight or a whole month straight, what is that lesson here? Nurturing, um, spending time with your plant taking good care of it, feeding it, giving it sunlight, giving it water. This is all about care, right? And if you can do that with yourself, um, I feel like you win at the game of love, right? And it all starts with yourself, okay? So, but I also feel like with the new love offer and a new love start coming in here, um, might even be with a, a popular social female, could be with a, a fire sign, for those of you who like females. Um, there is some kind of something that's happening here, okay? Now, I know we're going into Venus retrograde July 22nd, I think, so we're in the pre-shadow period already. So there's stuff brewing, okay? And I do see, as far as romance goes, you will be asked to take some kind of a risk, okay? Um, as far as romance and love goes. I'm not exactly sure what that's going to be, um, but it is going to require you to come out of your comfort zone and, you know, again, you're going to have to weigh that Virgo. If you're going to be able to do it, whatever this thing is. Okay. Yeah. Look, learning a new skill. So there's definitely something here you're going to need to try differently. You're going to have to, this is something new, a whole lot in the new words, new keeps showing up new, 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 a whole lot of new stuff right with this new chapter new 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 a whole lot of new stuff happening here there's new plans and there's something on laying being thrown at your feet that you're gonna have to learn to master whether that's in work this new relationship this commitment to self this trusting in spirit this taking this risk 
Virgos do best when they learn how to do something. <laughs> Virgos not generally the ones who deal well with being thrown to the lions. Virgo wants to just kind of like, can you give me a heads up so I can learn about the lion first so I know what I'm getting into? That's kind of a Virgo thing, right? Because Virgos like to master things. And the way Virgo masters things is by learning things first so that they... Um, Virgos like to understand the concepts of why something works and how it works and because they want to be their best at it. Um, Virgo just doesn't jump in willy-nilly, okay? Um, your risk here is to learn something new, okay? Um, this is something I feel like you uh, don't know anything about. I'm not exactly sure. Or maybe you've dabbled in something in the past but you have not maintained consistency with this or you haven't had the opportunity to put something into practice okay you're going to get that opportunity right because knowledge is only half the battle the other half is what we apply right so some of you i know my virgos are very 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 highly intelligent very high i've never met a virgo that didn't have a high iq they understand things very well. Virgos are always good at figuring things out and they're very good at learning and they're very good at putting things into practice. But this is something new for you. And you know what? For some of you, it may just be learning how to love, right? Not with your head, but with your heart. I saw a quote the other day and I thought it's perfect. Um, it goes, don't listen to your heart listen with your heart so yeah Virgo you have an interesting weekend um, very refreshing I feel it's like a soul refresher wow I love it I'm going to end this reading here positive vibes go out in the sun Virgo get some vitamin D play with your kids or play with children um, children that you know right go to a playground Virgo swim in the sea Play, play, play. Do something fun and enjoy your life. Enjoy your weekend. The energies are strong and powerful and all of the world is your play place. Just love yourself. Just love your life. If you can't love your life right now, just love it over the weekend. Positive vibes, positive thoughts, positive affirmations, trust, accepting yourself. Know that you can do this, this, this baby step or this giant risk you're about to take in love, in a, on a journey, on something that's being presented to you. This gift, it's a gift. Believe it or not, it may feel like a burden, but the word burden means gift, right? The best gifts are always the ones that we struggle <laughs> to receive, right? Nothing worth having comes easy and there's a pot of gold on the other side of this rainbow for you virgo stay positive about that right that's the sun all right virgo i'm gonna leave that reading there for you you know sometimes i like to change the readings up you know because it can get a little monotonous um and i don't want you to get bored <laughs> with my readings so i do tend to change them up and give different messages i i know there's a tarot reading reader that i used to listen to many 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 moons ago and i actually stopped listening to her um because it was the same thing every single day you know and um sometimes we kind of have to stay consistent with that but i don't know i know some people prefer things to be exactly the same every single day i don't i i, I need a little spice <laughs> in the readings and that's why I switch things up a little bit just to kind of keep you guys on your toes and try to give us all different messages here um yeah so that's my explanation for why I'm crazy <laughs> so must be the Leo Virgo cusp I'm on you know feisty so yeah I'm gonna leave that there don't forget please anything you can give anything you can donate to my website my fundraiser rescue kids now or anything you can donate and give i don't care if it's one cent it's the act of giving that's impressive to me to the our rescue uh website um if you can even get a chance to go see the movie um listen virgo i want to tell you something I, I don't have a political stance here my venus is in cancer okay and cancer is all about family children relationships and my heart 
cries for the babies. It cries for the babies, you know, and there's so much going on in the world. And I so much believe that children are needed so much more now than they ever have been needed before by people who care. And if you can even donate a dollar or a, a, a euro, wherever you're from, wherever you live, anything to help the babies, that really, if you never click on my channel again, I don't, that would be fine. If you never come here again, that would be fine. If I, if I know in my heart, because I know you, Virgo, and I know that's something that you would do because you have that heart. Um, if you can do that, man, you just would make me the happiest person in the world. <laughs> it really, that's, I'm very simple. That's all I need. I don't want anybody's money. I don't want gifts. Just give it, pay it forward to the babies. And my heart will be full. So, yeah, and if you donate to my website, my website is Rescue Kids Now, and it's just a platform that drives you right over to the Missing Child org, missingchild.org here um, in the United States to help find missing and traffic children, okay? Either one, I don't care. Do what you got to do. So, Virgo, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Um, love yourself. Make good choices. Be happy. And I will see you all back here on Sunday. All right, take care. Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this is going to be a next six months love reading and general. Some messages may not be for you. They might be for you. Um, just take what fits, leave the rest. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. Okay, Virgos. Let's get into this. Also, I am running a discount for July on my personal reading, so if you would like to get a personal reading with me, go to the websites in the description box below and book your special discounted July reading. Okay, we're going to start with July. So you're starting with the star in the reverse. Okay. Um... I feel like July is not going to be a time for renewal. Um, this is a time for rebuilding your faith. I feel like July, you're going to be very disconnected, um, really trying to learn to trust yourself. You might be feeling a little bit insecure in July about, you know, can you do something? Is this going to be something you can do on your own? Not exactly sure what that means, but let me just take a look here. It's mostly about um, regaining your hope and your strength and learning to trust yourself again, okay? And it might be something to do also with the King of Cups in July, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or this person is feeling a bit hopeless or discouraged, okay, in July. Um, this person is losing hope. They have lack of faith. Um, they're feeling discouraged, insecure. They feel a disconnect with you. Um, let's see. And they're really not sure about some kind of renewal, okay? And you might not be either. Now, let me see. One more card to give you for July. Okay. Ace of Wands. Um, yeah, I feel like there's somebody in July who's... It feels like this King of Cups is trying to get this, this urge back back for life right this person's depressed i feel like this person's a bit depressed and they're seeking new opportunities for growth okay um trying to get themselves out of being um like in despair some this person feels very much like they are in despair at this time and they definitely want a new beginning here um trying to get their desires back or you know what I mean it's kind of crazy let me see one more for July okay yeah oh gosh so I feel like there's a breakup somebody this king cups or you or both of you just feel like something's done here there's no um going back um I feel like that you and this person are going your separate ways and you're going to seek out new opportunities for growth partnership things like that there's not even a friendship happening here in july this just feels like there's broken communication tension imbalance and i do feel like this king of cups is feeling this way at this time and um you know there's is there an opportunity for growth between the two yeah but there's no communication happening here with you and this person so i really feel like either you're not talking to them or they're not talking to you and um 
uh, July looks a little bit bleak. Like there's just there's a, like a very teeny there's there's a potential here to overcome this depression, this despair, um, and. You know, Virgo, you might be in this situation where you're just like, you know, I, you can have growth with somebody else. You could just, you're ending something or something's ending here with this King of Cups or they're ending it. And it feels like, I can't really say that there's a potential for you and this person to work things out in July. I don't really feel like that. Um, but I do feel like, I will say that the King of Cups does want that, but I don't see any action being taken. And I feel like you might want that, but I don't see any action being taken. So July is kind of like a dud. It feels like a little bit of a dud. You know what I mean? Um, there's so much potential for something to be healed, but nobody's doing anything in July. Okay? No, nothing's happening in July. Okay? You might be deciding for yourself just to seek out, and this person also, um, seek elsewhere, okay? Now let me take a look and see what August brings, and happy birthday to the August Virgos. Okay, so you've got the five of, of pentacles, so let's see. All right. You know, it's crazy because I feel like there's some clarity coming to you in August um, about your finances. Like, August is going to be a real wake-up call about your finances. You're spending too much money, Virgo. Um, and and you're, you might be spending it on little things. And I feel like August um, is you kind of like, oh, my God, I got to I got to take a look at my, I'm, you know, like, I don't know, I, I feel like you're chipping away at your finances. I don't feel like you're spending, or at least in August, spending on big ticket items. I feel like your your savings are being chipped away by tiny little expenditures here and there, which all add up to a big ticket, big ticket items. Okay. Um, some of you might be thinking of getting another job uh, maybe a second or a third job or changing your career and trying to find something that is going to pay better yeah there's a little bit of a financial struggle in in, in august but there's also a waking up to where you are okay in regards to that um I do feel like things are going to work out I feel like your message here is either you need to crunch down on your finances like stop spending on little things and forego things um, or seek out secondary employment or another way, hustle, another way to get more money. Because um, I feel like that is going to bring you a sense of like, okay, uh, I'm going to be okay. You know what I mean? But you have to do something. So it's either seek out more, you know, money to afford to live the way you're currently living um, or really crunch back and sacrifice a little bit here. Okay, because I do feel like you're, you're, you know, you're going to take a look at like, take a look at your overall financial picture for the rest of the year and be like, oh, no, I can't, this can't happen. I can't do this. Okay. Um, some of you might be spending money on just things that help you to rest or relax or maybe like vacations or I don't know, Virgo, I feel like you need to keep an eye on your finances here. Yeah, um, and get very protective about them in August, okay? Just keep an eye on that. August is going to be huge. Like, oh my gosh, you can't, you, you go to pay for something and it's like, you don't have the money. It's not there. So it's a decision, okay? So here you go. September. What do I do? It looks like this is turning into... <laughs> <laughs> one long form story um things are going to pay off okay you're going to be all right september you're going to be able to look and say you know what i think i can get by i think i have enough i might need to just try to get a little bit of extra money um but your hard work will pay off and even if that means getting more money or just scaling back how much you're spending it works out the same um to keep your numbers level. Uh, I feel like you're going to be okay with that. Definitely. Okay. 
Now, some of you might be changing jobs as well. You, I do see there's definitely... Um, uh, oh, okay, they just said somebody's going to cash in some bonds or some stocks as well to get a little bit of extra money. This is kind of like figuring out what to do with the money. There's something, if you keep your money in a bank or you have investments in certain institutions or things like that, or, um, you know, leaving if it's about leaving a job and taking on another job. Um, I, I do see you really like, okay, looking at this, okay? Okay. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're going to be okay. You've got the four of wands. So um, some of you might be relocating back home as well. Okay. Very important. Some of you might need to move home or you make, might make a decision if you have a home to move to um, or move into a retirement community as well if you're older um, or relocate in a retirement community if you already live there. Um, some of you might seek help from like financial help from some kind of um, traditional institutions or religious groups or something along those lines as well, as well or seek some kind of help. I'm just picking up a real strong community uh, situation here. Okay. And um, yeah, this is September. There's There's some creative opportunities coming to you as well that you will receive some kind of an offer on, which you're not going to have to fork out a lot of money to create something here. And you're actually going to, oh yeah, you got big plans here. So some of you in September might be deciding as well to start some kind of creative endeavor that's going to um, add some coins to your piggy bank, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, Maybe you'll do some shows or something in September um, where there's like community events or something. I feel like, Virgo, I just kind of, the overall message is you're going to find a way. That's what I feel. Um, you're going to find a way to make some money or to do something extra. There may be some family that help you or a community support group that kind of help you, give you some ideas. People want to buy your stuff, I'm hearing. September seems to be like... Um, they're just giving me like this boat, like somebody sends you a boat, hop in so you can sail off into this great new thing that you're going to do, these plans. Um, and maybe you'll seek a loan or, um, you know, banks or, or someone that can like actually like a corporate or someone, there'll be some money coming to you so that you can start something new here. September feels like making plans to increase your income. For especially going into the holidays. Okay. Let's see what October is holding for you here, Virgo. What does October hold? Okay, there's a King of Wands who's coming out of the closet <laughs> in October. Um, all right, interesting enough. So I don't know if you guys have noticed this. A lot of these decks do this. And so. It's up for opinion, but this King of Wands, and I know why they do this. So generally, the King of Wands is showing up as being uh, a, a Sagittarius. It could be a Leo or an Aries, but it could also be a Scorpio because it's a Mars-ruled card. So there is a King of Wands who is showing up. And let me just tell you, when you had the King of Cups earlier, the King of Cups, I believe, was... Let's see if I can find it. Because it's really odd how they come out like that. I believe the King of Wands, or the King of Cups was Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But it was also showing, I think, Aquarius. Okay. Well, I'll have to go back and look. I'm sure that... Uh, if you stop the video and kind of zoom on it, you can see it because I can't find the card. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, there's a King of Wands showing up here. Um, I just feel like it's coming out of the closet. <laughs> I just keep hearing that. So either they're actually coming out of the closet um, or they are becoming free. Let me see what's going on here. Oh, okay. Lustful energy. This is all about sex. Um, 
What does this have to do with Virgo? Oh, okay. Okay, so this person's connected to you in some way, okay? Um, I feel like they want to tell you, they've missed the opportunity before in the past to tell you that um, they've been hiding a secret. They've been hiding something. It could be a sexual secret, okay? Uh, yeah, and they've been pulling some tricks, kids. This, yeah, um, okay, Virgo. <laughs> You're going to find out something about this King of Wands in October um, that they've been tricking you or tricking other people about their sexuality. You're going to find out and or they're going to tell you that they've been pretending to be one way when they're not. Okay, that's an interesting message. Yeah, there's the Ace of Wands. So, like, I don't feel like you're, I don't know how you're going to feel about it, but I just feel like this person is, okay, there's two messages now they're giving me. Number one, this person is going to tell you that they've been hiding their sexuality, okay? Number two, separate message. This person feels like they have missed an opportunity to, um, have some kind of new start with you or, or to grow something with you, okay? Um, or to have like a potential new beginning. And I feel like this person, either they're going to tell you that or that this is the energy of this person. Like they really, I don't see regret and I don't see this person feeling like remorseful or anything like that. But I do feel like this person is coming to terms with, um, they missed an, a great opportunity. They come to realize something in October. They should have like sh shooted their shotted. <laughs> they should have shot their shot when they had the chance to have to manifest something with you. Um, and then either they're going to communicate that. To, yeah, see. Mm. I don't know why I don't feel like this person's regretting. So for someone who's kind of coming out of the closet, there is going to be someone who's going to come to the family and tell everyone that either they're gay or they're straight or whatever's under the umbrella of that, okay? Um, there's a, definitely a realization and that they've been kind of fooling everybody and they're just going to come out and like talk about that, not just to you, but also to family, okay, or other people. Um, and then for others, there it, this person who... Um, feels like they've missed an opportunity to have something amazing with you is going to try to manifest this with you in October in some way. Okay. Yeah. They, um, they don't want something to end here. They don't want some kind of chapter to be over. Um, they feel incomplete and I kind of feel like they, they want to create that opportunity again to try to have some growth with you in October. Okay. So, Hmm. If I were you guys, I would take like a um, pen and a paper or whatever, write it on your phone for each month. And these are the pivotal messages. I'm sure other things are going to happen to you in your life per month, but these are the strongest messages that I'm getting. And I would write them down and you can refer back to that. It's funny because last year, um, I did a, a reading for myself predicting, um, you know, like one of these full, a full year reading and the end of June or June around the end of June, um, I predicted that, you know, mom was going in for surgery. And when I went back and looked at it the other day, um, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> I was like, wow, a year later. So, you know, uh, some other things didn't happen. They were kind of delayed, but I would write it down, you guys, just so you kind of know ahead of time. Okay, let's take a look at November. What's going on for November for Virgos? Predictive messages. What's going to happen in Virgo's life in November? The most pivotal, significant messages. Okay. Wow, Virgo. You've got public recognition, victory, progress, self-confidence, success. Let's see. 
Oh, wow. Four of Cups reversed. Hmm. Sudden awareness, choosing happiness, acceptance, retreat, withdrawal, checking in for realignment. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be really successful in November. Well, let's take a look here. What's going on? Wow. Wow. So somebody's having a party for you in November. There's some kind of celebration. Friendship, collaboration, creativity, community, happiness, joy, sudden awareness. Hmm. Interesting. You're going to be celebrated for something in July. You're going to be accepting some kind of an award in July. I'm sorry, in uh, November. I don't know why I keep saying July, probably because it's still July. In November, yes. You're going to be recognized for something. Let me see. And there's going to be like a reception or a party. Um, let me see. The rest of the message, what's going on here? Ooh, there's definitely going to be an apology coming in here. You're going to feel, it's funny because right when I was starting this in November, I, I keep hearing I'm on top of the world, like from Titanic, you know, there's forgiveness, there's recovery, and even a, a, an apology might be coming to you from someone. It could be a particular person, or it could be family, or some friends, or maybe sisters or someone. There's um, accepting an apology, or accepting um Someone wants to reunite with you in November. Have some kind of reunion. Um, heal um, a brokenhearted situation. Okay? Because somebody feels very discouraged. Or that there's a disconnect. Someone's in complete despair. Um, and even if you are about a situation... Um, there's going to be healing and recovery from that. Okay, Virgo. November's going to be, like, you're going to be feeling really great. I feel like either you're going to get closure or you're going to get validated from some type of a situation that wasn't going well for you. Okay? You're going to be, like, way on, to on top of the horse. You have good positive vibes. Okay? So we've got Leo energy, Aquarius. So... I mean, this looks really positive, Virgo. November's going to be like, yay. <laughs> yay. There's um, even if there was a breakup, there's getting back together. Um, there's a re reunion, a renewal when there is a feeling of all hope is lost. It's getting the faith back. Definitely. So November looks really good for um, some kind of reconciliation or um, renewal of hope and faith and uh, some kind of reunion as well. Okay, let's take a look at December. What is December's energy? Oh, wow. Look at that. Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Karma, life cycle, destiny, a turning point, change, inevitable fate some unpredictable situation a little bit of ups and downs but the wheel turning in your favor good luck coming to you jackpot in december this is amazing let me see look at that saving money at virgo look you're gonna be fine financially it's gonna be a little bit of like some worrisome moments as i was saying before you're gonna hit a big some of you are going to hit a lottery of some sort um, or have a little, a lot of money coming in um, and going to hide that or hold on to that going into the new year for sure. Let me see here. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to. Yeah. I mean, you're going to come into some kind of small fortune of some sort and... Uh, <laughs> Or if you've got like some kind of competition, like you're going to win. You're going to win against some kind of competition or rivalry, conflict, disagreement, strife, some kind of tension. Um, it's all going to be in your favor. Um, you're going to deflect all this energy, protect what's yours. You know, um, 
you're it's a winner situation i don't even know i feel like it's mostly related to finances or people trying to um compete to to have some gains you're going to be the winner in this it's it like good luck comes to you in december let me say a little more information okay yeah the other party is the other party no good for whoever's on the other side of this okay they're gonna feel like it's not fair that you're getting away with something but it's not they're done an end comes to some financial thing could be a court thing um or some kind of uh, legal dispute of some sort i feel like it's going to work out in your favor december is going to be oh so it looks like this um energy is going to come in pretty quickly um very positive news good news coming to you in december virgo i feel like you you know <laughs> I, don't, I don't know i just get a sense that you're going to be um the winds of change december is going to be the winds of change things are going to really shift there's going to be an end to a conflict for sure okay an end to dishonesty an end to any kind of punishment or anything whatever you've been protecting and holding on to protecting your heart whichever there's definitely karma being served in some regards here um and it, it's all good karma coming to you positive energy in december as well yep there's secrets coming out um revelation coming clean um no more secrets i feel like for, oh, re, you're going to be able to regain some kind of control of a situation okay and like we saw in november you're going to be on top of the world and i do feel i think that was november and i do feel like you are i don't know whatever's coming to you virgo by the end of the year yeah it's going to be very positive for you okay whoever was creating conflict in your life um or trying to limit you you know you're breaking free december looks really like to round off the end of the year the last six months like you, you definitely have some stuff going on but i feel like december is going to be cause for celebration for sure things are going to shift in a very positive way for you all right you guys so i hope you enjoyed that and i will see you all back here tomorrow also don't forget if you want to get a personal reading there's a discounted um uh, reading available on my website for july go over and check that out you can book it for july all right you guys take care bye hey virgo welcome back to the channel this is kelly from house of virgo if you're new welcome please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading please keep in mind this is a general love reading some messages may or may not be for you don't force it to fit just take what fits leave the rest this is a channel for virgo sun moon rising or venus but of course all signs are welcome Okay, Virgos, so let's get into this reading. Also, if you want to book a personal reading with me, I'm running a discount at this time for the month of July. So do go over and check that out, or you can book with Brandy as well. All right, Virgo, hope you're all having a great day and a great evening. All right, let's see. What are the messages here for Virgo? Also, yesterday's reading was for the next six months july through december so if you want to get a further look into the future uh, definitely go back and check that out okay wow you've got a love call coming in virgo someone expresses love a message of love thinking of you and just letting you know okay virgo so definitely a love call coming in let's see what else all right the phoenix is rising and soulmates okay a new phase a rekindling renewal transformation growth a changed mind uh soulmates soul connection partnership agreements soul contracts so somebody's coming in to call you to tell you they've changed their mind about something okay and it's a soulmate there's a soulmate coming in saying hey virgo guess what i've been thinking about things and i've changed my mind about what i said or didn't say in the past okay 
or what I recently told you or what we discussed. All right, so let's get into this reading. And first of all, let's see what else is going on here with this energy. Okay, so you've got the King of Wands. So there is a King of Wands coming in, hot and heavy. Okay, and this King of Wands has a very fiery, passionate heart. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, could be somewhere in their chart. Doesn't have to be their, um, their sun. Could be anywhere in their chart. It's Mars ruled. I will tell you that. Can be Mars ruled. Let's see what else is going on here. What else can you tell Virgo? Oh, right. And the Hermit. Yeah, somebody's definitely been thinking, soul searching, doing some inner reflection. This King of Wands has been doing some inner reflection, thinking about you as well. And just taking some time to um, think about something, to make a decision. And I feel like in July, um, this energy is playing out and this person is coming in to make a love offer to you. Okay, maybe that's what they've changed their mind about. Um, there's a new phase happening here with someone. Let me see. What else can you tell Virgo about this? Wow, get the death card. So we also have Virgo and also Scorpio. So yeah, there's a new beginning happening here, Virgo, in July. Um, hold on a second. July 24th could be significant. 24th through the 29th. Um, I feel like someone here is transformed. They've gone through some kind of a cycle. They've done a lot of thinking. They've come to the end of things here. And, um, they're on this new phase. Yeah, so Virgo, I do feel like this person is coming in, this King of Wands is coming in to make a romantic offer or proposal to you. Okay, let me see what else is going on here. Wow, the Magician. Let me see. Something's over. There's something has ended. Okay. Yeah, this person, um, it looks like they've had a lot of conflict and um, they've recovered for some kind of conflict and they're in like a real good high vibrationary energy. Um, they've created a lot of conflict as well in their personal life and it's, it looks like they're, they're taking a rest from that. They're recovering from that. There's just so much renewal energy happening within this person and with that sun, I'm telling you, Virgo, like they're coming out to show something, to expose uh, something going on with them, okay? Coming out of the dark for sure with that hermit energy and bringing something out into the light or out into the open, okay? I do feel like this person, um, <laughs> they just keep giving me There's, they've had a lot of uncertainty and I feel like this person is pretty much zeroed in on what they need to do with their life in regards to you okay so and it just it's so straightforward i don't like i just feel like all right let's we're done that's it i mean it's so straightforward there's leo energy there's gemini but i feel like this king of wands is 100 percent um going into battle they're going to fight for this relationship fight for this connection with you um, and that energy plays out mostly towards the end of July, okay? Especially with that magician, okay? So the High Priestess, the Eight of Cups, the Fool, wow, okay. This person's been secretly thinking of you, wishing to... Um, they, they've departed. There was this departure and they've, they've been on their own to try to gather their thoughts and figure out what they want and what they want to do with their, like the rest of the remaining portion of their life, how they want to live it. And I feel like this person is also, um, you know, they live their life kind of free and non-committal. 
um, foolishly, maybe a bachelor or a bachelorette, um, kind of just chasing waterfalls, living in fantasy land. There's a lot of that energy here. And I just kind of feel like this person has always secretly been wishing um, to have a, like someone special in their life. And then I also feel like with you, they know that you're that someone special. Okay. And this is kind of an awakening that this person is having is have I was gonna say is having this, this they're having they're having an awakening. <laughs> so that's very interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. So very you have the moon. And you I feel like will not be sure what to make of this. Is this person being deceitful? Um, I feel like there might be a lack of trust going on here with this moon seemingly kind of shady and you're going to be seeking the truth um, and try to make sense of this offer that's coming in from this person who has just come to terms with what I feel like they either they know they need to do or that you like it, it's kind of like you were like the love was there all along and this person did not I don't know if they didn't accept it. I feel like they were non-committal with the Seven of Cups and just kind of being like a free bird, you know, not really committing to anything, maybe traveling or just being off on their own like a nomad, <laughs> you know, and I feel like here you are, Virgo, you're just like, hold up, wait a minute, you know, I, I is this like this seems kind of sketch is this person like really being truthful and really being fair and honest and i do feel like this person is because of the hermit card because of the soul searching because of taking time alone i feel like they've been on their own um maybe not really socializing with a lot of people just kind of going within really thinking long and hard about you know the next steps in their life how they want to live it and it feels like They've definitely transformed, even with that phoenix. Like, this person knows you are a soulmate for them. You are their soulmate. Okay. So, let's see. You've also got the Empress and the Three of Pentacles. So, Virgo, you are... All right. So, we, we have Libra, double Libra, and Pisces, and Taurus here. So, you are pretty much... <laughs> Virgo, I feel like for you, it's like, all right, can I get that in writing? Uh, what you're offering here? I'm going to need to get that in writing. Yeah. Um, I'm going to need that contract. I'm going to need the, all the fine print. I'm going to have to take it to my lawyer and have them overlook it or look it over. Yeah, because Virgo, you are in this Empress energy where it's like you don't, you're not playing here. So I feel like, so I don't feel like it's like, I don't feel like you feel like you don't deserve this because it feels to me like you already know you deserve the best. But something here with the moon is telling me that you don't trust it, or at least you won't be trusting it. And you're going to need something in writing. <laughs> it's just how I feel. And the Three of Pentacles is like a commitment card. So for you, Virgo, it's like make the offer and it's got to be for real because you are commitment minded you're you're not messing around you're not doing the whole romantic fly by night kind of energy with anybody here you know the empress doesn't do that the empress doesn't just get with jokers <laughs> you know what i mean and the empress is the real deal the empress is serious and very warm and loving and okay they just gave me that scene again with the jerry Maguire. what is it um when jerry said to um i can't remember his name tip of my tongue the football guy he said or no the football guy said to jerry don't mess with a single mom he said you don't mess with the single mom mm -mm. and <laughs> He said, because a single mom has been to the circus and she has seen the puppet show. You don't play with that energy. Okay. So whether you are a single mother or a single father, you, that you have children, whether they're young or old or out of the house, whatever it is, there's a different mindset when after you've had children 
um, life becomes more incredibly valuable, you know, and there's something here about you who is basically like, no, I'm going to need that in writing, um, because I'm not taking, I don't, I'm not, I don't get involved with jokers. I need something that's going to be serious. So you're really kind of putting your foot down there, um, in July with someone here specifically. Okay. You're not taking, um, well, we'll see how it goes. I just don't feel like you're, you're taking that train. Um, this train has a destination and that's what the train you're traveling on. There has to be a destination, but also one where, you know, you both enjoy the journey. Otherwise you're, you're like locked, you're locked and loaded. You are locked up. Yeah. No one's getting your heart unless they are coming at you with, you know, something real Virgo, you know, something real. And that's your energy for July and maybe that's just always your energy you know you want you're kind of like I'm going to need more information and also you're kind of like I'm going to need to look over you like I'm going to need to look this over and see what kind of what kind of magic potion juice you're trying to create here with me yeah you're very serious with that three of pentacles you want to build something here with me you want to create something um yeah Virgo let me see what your advice is here with this person, Virgo. What is your advice? I, I just feel like some of you are like, I don't have time to play. I'll play if you're serious with me. Then we can play. Then we can play ball. <laughs> you know, otherwise I'm not playing. Virgo's like, I don't need to win any trophies. I am the trophy. <laughs> I am the prize. I don't need to go out and beg for the prize or try to win the prize. I am the prize. So you're, I don't feel like you're up in your ego though. I just feel like you know your worth and your value, which is good. All right, let me see your advice here. Okay, weigh it out carefully. Okay, weigh your, weigh it out. The pros and the cons of this situation, of this offer that's being made to you, this proposal that's coming to you. Um, bring balance into the situation. Also, you should understand that with this infinity symbol, this represents what comes around goes around. So um, this can be for some of you a situation where somebody's coming back around again. Also. Um, yeah, your advice here is to just kind of be like, hmm, let me see. Let me think what do I want to do here. Let me try to figure this out. But yeah, you are getting you are going to be getting an offer. Now, it's, it, listen, I know there's a whole ton of you listening. It's not going to be for everyone. Just keep your mind peeled, your eyes open. If it doesn't come to pass for you, it doesn't mean that the next reading won't be for you. I know some of you have been waiting months and months and we just kind of have to Take it with an open mind and a grain of salt, okay? But that is the energy that I'm picking up. Um, let me see. What does this person want long term? Oh my gosh. Yeah, the lovers. Yep. Forever and ever. Partnership. Both of you to come together in a very blessed union. Look, I just looked under the deck. The Ace of Cups. So definitely um, to have a new beginning here with you. To have something special that you can both work towards a blessing. I mean, Virgo, there's Gemini energy there. I just I just really get a sense that this person is, you know, they've done a lot of soul searching. They and it's not it's not soul searching in the way of if they love you or not or if they have feelings for you. They do. I don't feel like that was ever an, a, a question. Even if they didn't share these feelings for you or with you, I don't think that was ever a question for them. The question for them, I feel like, has been, can they commit to something long term, you know, um, and have that deep partnership and be vulnerable. That I feel like for this person has been a struggle. Because as I said before, this person has been kind of a wanderer, just kind of all over the place. Um, living that lifestyle, not really committing to anybody. Maybe they did commit to other things like work and stuff, but maybe not. Just kind of being in, you know, fantasy land and maybe a bit immature and just in and out. So something's going on here with this person that's making them rethink the whole thing. Maybe they've had a near-death experience. 
um, or they feel like they're getting closer to the end and you know they've always loved you but they haven't been able to commit for whatever reasons um, or they just chose not to it looks like they're choosing that now and in July for some of you it can play out into August as well all right so and you know I mean that's not a bad deal there Virgo that's a pretty good message there for you guys um, this is a soulmate connection. Let me see what the romance angels are here for you, Virgo. What are the romance angels messages for Virgo? Okay, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This person um, may have had some addictions that kept them from that you know that's what i was saying chasing waterfalls what's that song don't go chasing waterfalls you know it's all about that from uh, tlc right um i feel like this person there's a chance remember i said recovery they may be um getting themselves together getting themselves clean from their addictions and addiction you you put whatever is under the umbrella of that okay they had codependency issues as well so um, that's something for you to be aware of as well that i feel like whatever has had their claws in in them um they are breaking free from that that's what the death card is coming to the end of that um, something might have happened to them where they were on the brink or they come to terms with you know can't keep living their life like this uh, let me see what else okay love yourself first so yeah Virgo understand that this person is learning how to do the self-love thing I don't know that this person if like if we can't love ourselves how can we love anyone else right and I don't I feel like maybe this person was maybe always trying to be attached to you and then would be avoidant and run away when things got too close um, they never were really loving themselves they were always seeking that external thing to make them feel better um, it looks like they're going through some kind of change and recovery from that and learning to heal here um, getting that self-love thing and that's all about, you know, when you hit rock bottom, when you surrender, you know, when you, you give up your old life of being a bachelorette or a bachelor and, and you're just like you're hitting some kind of like rock bottom. And it's like, man, I got to start loving myself now because I'm no good to anybody. OK, for some of you, they're letting go of an ex, releasing an ex. There might have been an, an addiction to an ex or that phantom energy that they just could not let go of. Um, maybe every person that they met they compared to their ex you know um, and you might have been one of them that they compared to the ex um, you guys might have split up and they went with someone else and realized that this isn't going to work and that person is becoming their ex and and they're having this awakening here I you know it's funny because not everybody who loves us and not everybody we love we're going to commit to that's a completely different ball game you know and sometimes it does happen um, but there's some type of obstacles that have been standing in this person's way. And they may have been created long before you came along. Um, maybe something in their childhood or something horrible. Or they lost somebody that made it really difficult for them to trust. They're going through some major changes here. Um, and as always, Virgo, like I say, if, you know, if that's something that you want to endure with someone or if you want to try to make something happen here with someone it's it's like completely up to you um let me get your messages of love and see what else is going on here okay messages of love for virgo what are virgo's messages of love Okay, intuition you already know the answer you seek some of you have all this time known that this person was going to get themselves together and it was just a matter of time some of you just have let them be and moved on with your life and just did you've always known that this person is your soulmate you are going to hear from this person in July but you've already known okay you've already known and some of you might have doubted a little bit um, but deep inside you've all You've known that this is your person and you are theirs and maybe it's right person, wrong timing. 
could have been a timing issue for some of you. Yeah, second chance here. This relationship deserves a second chance. Yeah, if you want to give it, they want a second chance with you, Virgo. And that's if you want to. But, you know, don't do anything until it actually happens. Don't click off this video and start thinking about it and just be like, yeah, I'll give them a second chance and wait for them to show up. Because like I said, for some of you, this, this may not happen. Okay, I just have to give that caveat. But for others, something for you to ponder. Of course, I know a lot of you in the chat are just like, no, I'm not giving this person another chance. That's fine. There are people out here who are looking for that. Um, oh, I'm picking up Pisces. And do you know why? I just saw this. I see a P I S C E N S. For some of you, this is a hundred percent of Pisces. Passion. Try something you've never done before. Wow, Virgo. What is that? Forgiveness? Giving something someone another chance that you um, swore off? <laughs> um, chemistry, the attraction you feel is mutual. So there is a strong, strong thing happening here and has always been an attraction between you and this person always you know Virgo and Pisces they're opposite on the zodiac wheel they complement one another it's just it's just the way it is but they also rub each other the wrong way the thing about Pisces and Virgo the one thing I can say about that combination is it can be a difficult they don't blend easily because they're opposite they're a they're a six six on the wheel and they have a tendency, because of the chaos and the friction between them, because they're so different, they have a tendency to refine one another, right? Um, and refine doesn't mean to make better. It, it may just mean to refine to know what the other wants or what the other needs. Do you understand that? There's friction between you and this person, okay? And even if they're not a Pisces, there there is friction between you and this person, not being able to get on the same page. And I feel like in a lot of ways, this this relationship has, for you, Virgo, refined you in, in very good ways. It woke you up. It woke you up. Okay, for some of you, um, this might be a relationship that you have learned from and you don't want to give it another chance um, because you've grown from it. Um, I do feel like this person wants another chance, though, and, you know, they, they can want that if they want. That's not nothing to do with you. You know, at the end of the day, it's up to you what, what you want with your life. Um, if you give it another chance, this person, as I see them coming in sincere and being ready, um, can it be even greater? Yes. Will it be hard? Yeah, sometimes, but it is a soulmate connection and it, it does refine you in a lot of ways as the friction, the rubbing against each other creates some serious passion and heat, but it's also, whew, it can be draining, <laughs> can be draining Virgo I'm just gonna say that let me see what the hidden truth messages are um, what this person could say to you if they could speak to you right now or what they're thinking or what's going on with them okay you don't know how hard it was to let you go and I love you unconditionally this person Virgo does love you like I said before I don't feel like that was really ever a question yeah, maybe they didn't tell you, and maybe it would have been nice to hear that. Um, you know, the affirmation of that. I, I don't, uh, you know, maybe they told you that or not. I don't know. But I do feel like they do, and they always have, and they always will. And that's why they're coming in with that lovers. Um, letting you go. Obviously, it looks like it wasn't easy for them. Um I think it was because you ended it with them. I think you might have let them go and forced them to let you go. Because I do feel like this person may have been holding on to you and coming in and out of your life in that codependency way or in that fantasy way. Um, I don't feel like this person wanted to let you go. Um, and I feel like it was really difficult to do that. Even if they let you go first and then you turned around and decided, okay, that's fine, see you later and they couldn't come back, they were then forced to let you go because they weren't allowed to come back, right? So I feel like there was some difficulty and I feel like that absence has created this, this void for this person. Um, it's created this void, it's created this space for this person to really kind of sit with themselves. Yeah, um, Virgo. <laughs> You took on some kind of Empress energy, and you still got it. 
and the empress the empress is boss lady boss man right the empress is in charge this person has buried themselves in work to forget you if you haven't heard from them or they haven't come chasing you or anything they've been burying themselves in work for sure trying to keep busy all right they've been using that as an excuse and it doesn't mean it doesn't have to mean like actual a job they could have just busied themselves with something that required a lot of effort and work to forget you so could be at a job could be burying themselves in another relationship burying themselves at the gym burying themselves in their family working really hard putting all the effort in other areas of their life whatever it might have been or may be um so that they wouldn't have to um, think about you. So they make it a lot easier. But it feels like, you know, you can only work so hard. I mean, what are you going to do when you finish all that work? You're still left with yourself and Virgo's not there. So what I, that's what I feel like at the end of that. Okay. <laughs> at the end of that, then they're left with themselves. So there, there's definitely this change. I feel like it's happening with this person where it's like, shit, nothing really worked still missing Virgo still love Virgo still want to be with Virgo but now now really got to do something now I really want to be with Virgo and, and make this like me being their last person in their life forever and ever and all infinity okay what else one more yeah this person wishes they had treated you better well there's some a little bit of guilt and remorse here happening for this person which eh, you know Missed opportunities, and people always say, you know, oh, I always miss that opportunity, and I wish I could have known, and I wish I'd done something when when the when the door opened and I was I was invited to walk through. I should have done something, and you know, it happens in life, right? And, and it looks like you became um, you you no longer became an opportunity for this person, and that has caused some kind of a a reshifting. In, in their periphery. So you're going to be getting a call. And I feel like you are going to hear from this person. Um, and, I, and I feel like they're going to start off by telling you that they've been thinking about you. Um, they're going to kind of segue in, um, kind of tread in toe in the water kind of energy. Thinking about you, um, just wanted to let you know, that kind of thing. Um, expressing some kind of love um, it could be a text message as well you could be getting if it's not a phone call it could be an email there's some type is by way of communication um, showing something but very small to just see if you are going to respond and you know Virgo you might not right I get it some of you like I said you might just be like oh thanks an avocado you might just have that energy Virgo and move on to the next present under the tree right and others yeah you might be like hmm what's going on thanks thinking of you too hope all's well how are things you know that kind of thing depends it depends like i said you guys hear me say this all the time so don't go in my comments and bitching and yelling at me because i told you to get back with an abusive ex i never said that and i never say that and if i see you put that in my comment i'm gonna i'm gonna delete it <clears throat> because we don't talk about that stuff here that's not what we're talking about i say all the time you know if you've had someone here that was putting hands on you i say that and i'm not talking about someone who's recovering from drug and alcohol addiction or whatever i'm talking about someone who is physically abusive to you okay because any other emotional verbal abuse like you got to take it upon yourself to like you know battle that right because i mean listen i'm old school sticks and stones may break my bones but words will never hurt me words cannot hurt you right unless you absorb them and you take them in and that's just my opinion now maybe i'm you know off the rails with that nowadays that's how it used to be i know a lot of people you know um if someone's doing the hate kind of thing you know for me i just rebuke that if somebody's giving me hate i rebuke it and i don't let it attach to me because i know who i am and that's kind of the energy if you're not there yet you gotta do that but when someone if someone ever puts hands on you i've never had anybody put hands on me but if anybody ever did i'd clock that mf -er, and out the door you go and don't come back that's me <laughs> that's me and I could clock that mf -er, um, but now I'm getting older, so I'm, I'm just like, you know what, just 
you know, I'm calling the cops, whatever, Virgo. So I'm not talking about that, right? I'm, I'm talking about a situation where there's somebody here that needs to, or at least is going through a transformation and change, okay? And if you want to take that back, that's, you know, entirely up to you. If you don't, we all understand. Yes, we do. Yeah, I'm Mike Tyson, MFR. You put your hands on me. Get the hell out of here with that. Oh, you're going to see the wrath. I'll hit you your ass right back. I'll sweep the leg. Forget about it. You're done. <laughs> You're going to wish you'd never laid hands on me. All right, let me get off my rant here. All right, let's get some Moon Pie Tarot messages. If you guys want to get this deck, there's a link below in the description box. My lovely, this is my deck from my previous channel, and it is an Oracle deck. So, yeah, definitely go over to the link there underneath the description box if you want to get this. Nobody else has this deck but me. And I know it says Moon Pie Tarot, but that's my original. That's me, okay? Let me see. I do have another channel on here, but I don't I don't upload on it anymore. All right. Direct Honest Female coming in, Virgo. Coming in. Somebody coming in to drop a truth bomb. It's a good friend. Yeah, you got a good friend. Coming in to talk to you, tell you some truths about something. This person cares about you, Virgo. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. This person cares about you. And they're going to give you, they're going to, they're going to just like, I don't think they're going to really, I feel like this person's going to just keep it real with you. Okay. And it might be in relation to this situation with somebody kind of like making a beeline back in your direction. This direct honest female is going to just like, it. she is a good friend and she's going to say, you sure you want to do this? You sure about this? What about the last time? What about before? Like, you know, she's going to have that talk with you. Okay, so you've got some good friends around you <clears throat> who are keeping it real with you. And that's good, Virgo. Now, you could also be the one um, having that talk with yourself. And you might also say to this person, now, we li listen, listen. We're, we can do, we can be friends. That's it. I don't want anything else, right? So some of you might be directly honest with this person and say, listen, listen, I love you. I do. Yeah, I see the good in you. But we've been we've been at this for a long time. And it's just not happening. I know you want to be with me. I know you want to make the change. But listen, the best I can give you is friendship. Some of you might just say that to this person. Okay. All right. Oh, good. We're changing the subject. You have good news about money coming in, Virgo. Good news about money coming in. You're getting a raise. You're getting a promotion. You're getting that bonus. Okay. And you've got peace. The influence of balance and harmony are over you. Leave things be and allow spirit to work in your life. All good things are happening behind the scenes. Trust the process. Trust that spirit is working in your life even when you feel discouraged. Be patient and trust. Okay, Virgo. That's a good message for you. What else do you have here? Okay. All right. Some of you... So this, mo this money news coming in is going to bring you a sense of peace. You know, that feeling of like, oh, I don't have to worry about my bills or making the car payment. That's definitely an energy. Some of you will be reevaluating your career. Okay. Because of a new love beginning. Wow. Okay. Huh. All right. Well, some of you, this might be. For some of you, this is going to be like, maybe I don't need to work anymore because this person wants to take care of you or they want to contribute and help take the burden. Um, but for some of you, this might be this connection with this person where um, it, it's weird. I know that I know that the well, there is a travel card here. Some of you might be at a distance to each other if that's the case then that's why this message would make sense that some of you may be changing jobs because of relocation either with someone new or this person coming back in or you're just in this energy of i need to change my career i need to have a new start in my life so that i can open myself up to new love coming in yeah for those of you who just tell this person you just want to be friends but there's hope that's good so you're getting your hope back virgo Hope's coming back, OK? 
Okay, making those wishes and seeing them materialize. So that's good. I'm a believer that dreams come true. When you're divinely blessed, okay, so you're also getting hope back about yourself. That's good. Um, I just hear live and let live, Virgo. I mean, I, that's a strong message, but I just keep hearing live and let live here. Moving to a safe place. So there might be some relocation happening here, the end of arguments and separation, and there is a new chapter starting here in your life, okay? And uh, yeah, you've got the soulmate card, twin soul energy playing out here. So communicate your love to the divine. Be thankful for this twin soul love. You've been chosen for one another even when times are tough. And seeing back and forth, this love was meant to be. And it looks like for some of you, not all of you, it's time to reconcile. Okay. So the reconciliation energy happening. And you know, guys, Monday and Tuesday, I do this deep love reading about the other person. Okay. And we get into that in-depth look at that relationship with a past person. Again, it's not for all of you. Okay. If you don't want to hear this, click off. I have lots of other goodies on my channel during the week. So you can wait for those. But we're going to take a look at the Chinese sign of you and this person and or you or this person okay beginning with the year of the horse year of their year of the rabbit you or them year of the snake year of the monkey year of the dog year of the goat year of the tiger and year of the rooster okay so virgo let's move on to the goody goody part i know it's your favorite part virgo i know it i know it i know it all right, we're going to take a look at the messages, random messages, names, and other things that like to show up here in your reading. These are little qualifiers that come in to just kind of give you a little kick and say, hey, yeah, this is more clarification that this is for you. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't mean it's not your message. Okay, Virgo. Mm. I see somebody eating an ice cream or a snow cone. So, uh, ice cream cone immediately I saw that right away something to do with an ice cream cone okay and somebody has those I'm seeing this now in their home gray like pergo floors or gray wooden floors it feels like it's matted it's not shiny it's like gray I guess it's called pergo or maybe it's laminate that's put down on the floor it's gray it's beautiful I think that's like uh, something that's really in style but it's gray it could be real wood that's like sanded and stained that gray color but I'm seeing that on the floor okay what else do you have hmm oh somebody finds like a one of those little Valentine hearts you know, the ones with the writing on it, like, will you be mine? You see that somewhere. Maybe it's like under your couch as you're vacuuming from February. I don't know. It's in your kid's room or grandkid's room or something. Somebody's also 42 years of age. We also have the initials H. Um, we have an R and a P. And then also they're just telling me um, somebody plays a harp. They just said that. Or maybe somebody believes that the government is creating weather catastrophes. Okay. Sure. Hey, sure. <laughs> sana, 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 sana. Whatever works for you. Okay. Let's see. La, 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 la. Damn that Zelensky. I always see him there. Why? Why does he show up? Even the flag. So maybe somebody's from Ukraine or is Ukrainian. Okay. Yeah, we have a letter K. Um, I'm picking up the letter B as well. And a D. D is in dog. B is in boy. Okay. Or, or so, okay, so that's weird. I just hear heard them saying, come here, boy. Come here, boy. Calling a dog. Somebody calling a dog. <laughs> All right. I'm also seeing a um, fire pit. So maybe you're outside right now having a drinky drink and sitting by a fire pit. Listen to this reading. Or maybe 
I was going to say like a heated fan, but I guess if you're in a cold area, that would be appropriate. I'm sure. I know some of you are going through a heat wave this week, I think, in certain areas of the world. So I'm sure maybe it feels like a, a hot fan is blowing on you, right? Um, okay. Oh, and then I'm, I'm seeing a Sheltie or like, yeah, Sheltie, a Sheltie dog. Definitely a Sheltie dog. And I'm seeing a baby wrapped in a blue papoose as well. A baby's wrapped in a blue papoose blanket. You know, wrapped like up in a papoose, right? A blanket. And, oh, okay. Okay, somebody likes Aerosmith or Van Halen. That's old. <laughs> Or listening to a Van Halen song, or maybe Aerosmith. Is there an Aerosmith song called Angel? I think. Is it the song Angel? You're my angel. Come and do me do. I guess that's from the 80s, isn't it? That's a really old, You're my angel. I think that's the song. Yeah, I'm just hearing that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Huh, and now look, Archangel Michael is here. Okay, something going on with Archangel Michael for sure. And also saying, like, listen, um, they're saying you can walk through the gate. Archangel Michael is there guarding you, fighting your, who's going to fight your battles for you. Any demons that come in to try to attack, he's going to be out there with his sword, whipping his ding-dong around, trying to kill those demons for you. You can walk through that gate, they just said. Okay. All right, some of, somebody studying to be like a counselor or a therapist or looking at or works as that and is looking at like tons of papers, doing paperwork. I also felt that energy as well. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. Oh, also the letter C I'm picking up, M as in Mary, S as in Sam. Hold on, now they're giving me a name. Um... Uh, Missy, they're saying Missy. And Craig, I'm hearing Craig. I don't know who has, and, and so these are very, um, hold on a minute. Um, and then I'm hearing Cortez. They're saying Cortez. Ooh, that was a sign. Cortez and Roz. Oh my goodness, the name Roz. Oh, they're really giving me some names here. And then um, Michael or Michelle. Michael, Michelle. Wow, I never got this many names. Uh, Raphael, I'm hearing. And Roseanne. <clears throat> and some, they just, somebody just said Chow. Like Chow. <laughs> or maybe it's a name. C-H-O-W. Chow. Okay. 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 Too many names. Somebody's trying to talk. Let me tell you what. They're trying to talk with all these names. They're, they're like trying to get this message out to you. All right. Let's move on. Birth dates and random numbers. Okay. So we've got Gemini, Taurus, Sagittarius, and Aries. Okay, um, September 19th, they're telling me. Um, August 31st, um, September 15th, and the 14th. Okay, last four digits or okay um, they're just giving me four digits six thousand six zero 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 and somebody is 51 we also have someone who is 43 and we also have someone who is 34 okay you're my angel Come and make it all right. Capricorn, Leo, Pisces, 
Capricorn again. Okay. Um, all right. They're giving me the number 192. They're giving me um, 1237. Now, these could be phone numbers or house numbers. Uh, they're giving me 129. Um, 3711. And... 212 okay and there's a whole bunch of stuff going on right now hold on a minute you guys um someone's birthday is okay they're telling me to say this somebody's birthday is march 19th they've also they're giving me october 9th um they're giving me november 7th okay and February 12th and did I say December 9th because I'm picking up December 9th okay so maybe that's the person that you know you have been dealing with could be might not be we've got Leo Gemini Pisces and Libra okay and just one more round for August and September birthdays please Okay, August 30th is here, and um, okay, someone's born in 1977, uh, someone is 33 years of age, September 11th, and 310. Or it's three seven one zero. One of the one of the other. Okay. All right. Last but not least, charms. Yay! Everybody put charms with a big exclamation point. I know that's your favorite. All right. Let's see. What are the charms for Virgo? I'm digging deep into my little bucket here. Oh, I just dropped one. So that's okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, you've got mail just kidding all right so you've got some kind of like um an emblem um it looks like a cross so that would be some kind of christianity cross maybe somebody wears a charm or a cross necklace of some sort okay that could be you could be another person maybe you're looking at it or you find one or there's a gift that's given and interestingly enough this cross is see-through okay and I don't know that I can really show it to you because it might not show up, but you can see kind of, um, I don't know how to get that to focus better, but yeah, it's see-through, you see? Okay, anyway, so some of y'all going back to Jesus, you're going back to Jesus. All right, so you've got a leaf here and um, maybe you see, yeah, they just said you see a very strange looking shaped leaf. Doesn't look like that. Um, somebody might be smoking a little, some leafy substances right now. Um, I don't partake, but hey, to each their own. Uh, maybe I should. So yeah, there's something here to do with a leaf. Okay, very special. And last but not least, Virgo, you've got a big fat elephant head here. I'm not saying you, Virgo, have a big fat elephant head. I'm saying the charm, <laughs> you big fat elephant head. Yes, there's an elephant head, something to do maybe with, with ivory or tusks. Um, this is also, look at those ears, a little Dumbo action going on. This is someone who, this represents like really good hearing. Um, hey, you know, maybe if you've had trouble with your ears, um, that's about to heal and get better. Something going on with the hearing ears elephants are good luck i believe and i believe that there is a culture that if you take elephants and you point them at your door face facing the door then good luck walks through your door i don't know what culture or um special uh, maybe religion of some sort is I heard of that years ago and I knew a lady that when you walked in her house she had elephants facing her door 
so that whoever walked in would be blessed with good luck, right? Um, ble- or just blessed. Um, I can't remember. That was like 30 years ago. But I always remember that. Do I have elephants at my door? No. Will I go get some this weekend? Hey, you know what? Maybe. But I have a cross over my door, so that's kind of my thing. But to each their own. Something here beautiful about the elephant. Good memory as well. So some of you will be having an improvement in your memory. Lord, I hope so. Because you know I need, like, I can't, like, whatever part of the brain activates short-term memory where something like for me shit's always on the tip of my tongue always it's always on the tip of my tongue and then it comes out later i just cannot access i don't know what it is it's age or it's just i've got so much information coming in but anyway yeah definitely those energies are playing out and we're going to leave that there for you that was a lot of fun so virgo again if you want to book a personal reading there's a link in the description box below i am running a special for july so do take advantage of that and yeah don't forget please donate to the fundraiser i have listed below the video it might be in the chat as well um uh, where we donate to help rescue children who are trafficked and i also have a website um, called rescue kids now and that is also in the description box you go over there and you can donate to the national center for um, abducted and missing children okay um, so either one you want to do i don't care if you stick a dollar on there or a euro or whatever a penny i don't care um, it's always good to do your part and i know virgos like to help so if you want to give back definitely check that out and yeah i'm gonna be back here tomorrow as same day same time same bat channel so definitely pop back in thank you to the moderators for all the hard work you guys do you are amazing i am always so grateful i know i don't say it enough but let me just say it again and let's give a thumbs up to the moderators because they are just on fire all right you guys so have a great day great evening great morning and i'll see you all back here tomorrow take care virgos welcome back to the channel this is kelly from house of virgo if you're new welcome please smash that like button and subscribe if you have enjoyed the reading keep in mind this is a general love reading for july rest of july some messages may or may not be for you this is a channel for virgo sun moon rising or venus all signs are welcome and if you want to get a personal reading with me yours truly there is a link in the description box below and i am running a special for july and you can also get one with brandy too which she's more heavily discounted than me all right you guys so let's see what is going on okay so hmm all right somebody walked away from a relationship because somebody was wearing a mask and wasn't coming clean and wasn't being honest and wasn't being true okay someone wasn't showing their true feelings they were hiding pretending to be someone that they were not maybe gaslighting and it looks like probably you virgo <laughs> walked away from something and you're in separation from this person you're like you got the coffin card you're like rest in peace that's it putting an end to this i'm growing i'm changing liberating myself and transitioning and with this separation card you've got somebody here who is sad and missing you they're thinking about you yearning and they're unsure of the future okay well you know you walked out during an opportunity to do something what are you gonna do right what are you gonna do so virgo's kind of like okay so <laughs> no i don't know how you're feeling i just feel right now you are just that's the energy okay that's the energy somebody is upset and missing you because they couldn't express themselves or that they were pretending or they were lying and they were just you know were wearing a false mask okay and something is over because of that right so what's going on here the fool okay hmm well it looks like virgo this person is going to take a risk you took a risk by walking away and saying you know until you can come clean with stuff so you can open up so you can show yourself to me and be authentic and vulnerable and real you're out you walk away you do what you need to do for yourself you take that risk and you go and like fancy yourself a new car or a new home or some new digs and take good care of yourself and put yourself back on the market or just get back into that place of who you are prior to this okay but it looks to me like this person um yeah it looks like they're gonna try to take some kind of risk here towards you let me see 
All right, yeah, it's decided. All right, yeah, so, okay, so what? Who cares? They're going to take a risk. Take a risk what? They're going to level up their energy, possibly, but I feel like for you, this is mostly like, I know who I am. <laughs> I don't know, Virgo. You're just, it's just, I don't know, Virgo. I just feel like you're not playing. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're just, it's not you're just not dealing with this mass kind of energy or people who are gaslighting or pretending and lying like you're like no okay so okay yeah Virgo it looks to me like you blocked this person because of this devil energy this shadow side you blocked this person you just kind of went to the bright side of the moon and left them on the dark side right um I don't know if you were like, who are you dating? Like Darth Vader, what the heck's going on? But you're blocking out that negative energy. I don't know. It feels like something with this person was very negative with them. Okay. That you had to like RIP it. You did. You had to just be like, nope, I don't want this. You're bringing in this nasty demon energy, lies, deception, you know, all that stuff the devil does, lies, deception, uh, making everything like look real, real good. And then, you know, the path to hell is always paved with gold bricks. You know what I mean? Making it look real tantalizing and tempting. And it looks like you just said, nope, that's what you, yep. So anyway, yeah. I feel like Virgo for you, that's all about the separation, okay? <laughs> all right. Now I know I said that I saw that this person was going to take a risk towards you, but let me just see. This doesn't have to be a past person either. This could just be someone you started dating and they were wearing a, a mask and you blocked them and you were like, nope, not going down that road, okay? So uh, let me just take a look here. All right. Hmm. So I feel like this person kind of went into this internal place to try to figure out. Oh, no, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. No, 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 no. Sorry. This person went into this hermit mode. Wait a minute. Wait. Okay, stop. Everybody just stop. Okay, calm down, y'all. Hold on. I'm getting so many messages right now. Just stop. Okay. Is this, who is this? These two energies, the fool and the hermit are so opposite. Virgo, that's you, that nine of pentacles. But these two energies are so freaking opposite. Are you someone who's like an ambivert? You're like a little extroverted and a little bit introverted. Like, can you like vacillate between the two? I, I'm picking up two sides of you here right now. I thought it was that person, but it's it's not. I, I feel like this is you. You're kind of like in, I don't know if you're just, because the Nine of Pentacles is someone who is, that's an energy of being independent and stable. But are you putting on some kind of front now? I feel like, okay. All right, Virgo, I'm not trying to call you out. It might not be you, it could be somebody else you don't know who's listening. But there's a Virgo here who's fronting. There's a Virgo here who is kind of upset about something here. And there's a Virgo here who's putting it out there like they're living their life, taking risks, traveling, doing all this, but actually they're really by themselves. Virgo, I feel like um, you know that you needed to separate from this gaslighting fool. You know that you needed to do that. But there's something here that I'm picking up that you didn't, like you, you want to just separate and take the ego back and just be like, you know, F that person and, you know, I'm going to be the best I can be, which is great because the ego does kind of get you through that stuff. But at the same time, I feel like it's a show. For some, for some of you, I feel like it might be a little bit of a show. Now, that's okay. You might be doing that just to kind of cover up because Virgos don't generally like to reveal their, you know, their feelings to the world, you know? So I kind of feel like, I don't know why they're telling me this. Maybe it's just to make a qualification for you. Like you're, 
you're trying to get yourself out there and you know do the best you can but you're also kind of like you know maybe I just don't want to date anybody maybe I just don't want to be involved maybe I just want to stay by myself maybe you're in hermit mode and you're forcing yourself to get out there um but at the same time you're kind of vacillating between should I or shouldn't I should I take a risk or should I just stay by myself that's kind of what I feel like is going on here with you all right which is fine let me take a look at this other person here because you knew that you needed to kind of get away from that but then it's like I don't know do you just feel like maybe you just don't want to get back involved with another person or you just want to quit dating or just everybody on a dating site it's like predatory like crazy wild weirdos out there uh, yeah you're kind of like betwixt in between here in July with this situation let me see show me this other person spirit what is going on with this other person okay queen of swords so gemini libra aquarius all right they got some truths to tell we could also have capricorn for some of you aquarius another virgo um, but yeah this queen of swords is coming in to talk some truth okay She's coming in to say, I, you know, you can switch the uh, the sexes up, but she's coming in to say, hey, I've recovered, I've healed. I've gotten away from all my, my BS, okay? Um, yeah, there's definitely going to be communication from this person. And they're going to tell you, like, they're at peace. Okay, so... Virgo's like, I don't need to, for you to be at peace. I need for you to take that mask off and like open up and tell me what your plans are, what you want to do, or like who you are, what's going on. Okay, so I, I, I feel like they are going to try to communicate with you, definitely. In about four days, I feel like some of you are going to get something in about four days. And um, I can tell you where they've been, what's been going on. Um, they're also going to tell you that they've been fighting this deceptive energy. They've been trying to push back on that. Because I really do feel like this person, I don't know why they wore this mask. I don't know why they were being deceitful, what was going on. But I, I see this person kind of like standing up to this moon energy. Like fighting back the urge to be deceitful and saying, you know, I've been, I've been working really hard to just like open up. They want to open up to you. And they want to like take the mask off, okay? And they want to share this stuff with you. But it's it's not like, look, there's no cups here. This is not real emotional, except for the moon, right? But the moon does not reveal the deepest of feelings. It just touches the surface of things. So yes, shed a little bit of light on what has been going on with this person. But um, it's a very logical conversation so this must be someone who's very heady very logical conversation um they're gonna say yeah i know it was like that i know i was wearing this mask and you know they're not gonna go too deep i don't feel like the queen of swords gets deep sword energy libra aquarius gemini they don't go deep deep um, deeply emotional they're gonna touch the surface but you know tell you hey listen um they got some plans here's my ideas i think this is why i was doing this i think this is why i wasn't revealing myself you know why i was being deceptive why i wasn't communicating with you and that kind of thing now if you have this person blocked they're not going to get in and be able to talk to you okay so this isn't, you, there's no need for you to listen to this reading because they're not just going to mag magically get through. If you have them completely blocked from point A to point Z and there's absolutely no way for them to get through, no sense to listen to the rest of this reading, right? But you can because I'm going to touch more on you and you going forward. But I do feel like if you want to give this person a chance to talk in case they might open up, then you would have to unblock them in order to have that dialogue, Okay. Now, if they don't message you <laughs> and how severe goes wrong, then, you know, give it a little bit of time. I, you know what? First of all, listen, I don't believe, I, don't, I think blocking is like dumb. I think that's, look, that's my personal opinion. I'm not judging you. You do whatever you want to do. I used to block. I blocked. I was a blockity block, block, blocker all the time. Years ago, I was block this, block that. Um, and blocking people who, on, on like 
the, the internet that like I don't know that are just complete a holes. Like I don't even care. Go away. You're just like a fly at the picnic at this point, right? Trying to get on my cheeseburger. But blocking people that I had close relationships with, yeah, I've done it before. But I came to realize, you know, that doesn't solve my problem. Now, if somebody is being like very rude and very abusive and things like that, you know, um, I would block long enough for me to just kind of just get some distance. However, at the end of the day, you know, blocking someone like if, if they're calling you incessantly, if they're texting like crazy, if it's just like crazy, then yeah, you, you got to do what you got to do. But if it's not like that, and you guys just haven't talked, there's no sense really in blocking because you're not talking anyway. So just leave it alone, right? So I feel like, you know, if you unblock this person, Virgo, if you make a decision, you know, to put your, your Daisy Dukes down <laughs> and decide to, you know, uh, put your kid gloves in the drawer and just let things be, then yeah, I do feel like there is going to be some kind of communication from this person and they're, you know, they know, listen Virgo, this person knows why you're not talking to them, okay? They, they know why you, if you blocked them, they know why. They understand, they're not stupid. I do feel like they're going to try to communicate, though. I'll tell you right now, if they see that you unblock them, I mean, they're going to be very happy about it because I feel like they want an opportunity to explain, you know, why they did what they did. Now, that's fine. If you don't want, if you don't care, then just keep it moving, right? But let me just take a look at you here real quick, Virgo. You know, I'm getting so preachy in my old age. I really got to stop. Just give the message. Sorry for my preachiness. Let me just get the message here for Virgo. Let's take a look at, yeah, Virgo. So you got the five of cups. So yeah, you're kind of like, I feel like when you're alone, you're feeling your feels, maybe sad, feeling a little re uh, grief, maybe a little remorse, um, or just, a, you know, that's just that sadness feeling. But I do feel like you're trying to get yourself out of it. You're trying to be more open and free, definitely. But you know, don't, you know, don't stick a, um, a a square peg into a round hole. Like, allow things to just process through. You know, if you're sad or if you're grieving, just allow it to, you know, take its course, okay? But I do see that you, you have a little bit of sadness. Maybe you love this person. You really didn't want things to just... It's just difficult to communicate, right? Communication is everything. And if you love this person and you want something to work, then uh, unblock them or allow them the opportunity to talk to you but if they talk to you and it's just there's no change then you know be done and fully and move on and this is only for those of you I feel like who you know want to reconcile with this person or try to date again or something like that you know like I said some of you could have just dated for like I don't know maybe like six weeks you know I mean if it's been six days and like you're here for this reading for this like stop Okay, if it's been longer than like at least a month consistently dating, then yeah. And I don't know, I'm just kind of picking up some energy that it, it's been a bit of time. <clears throat> and um, let's just ask, let's just ask why this person was being deceptive and wearing the mask. Oh, here's King Wands. Okay, that would be the first court card here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh, justice that would be libra energy i do have pisces on the table oh no the queen of swords is the first court card um let me see hmm okay i don't know why that would be a reason to mess but i will tell you this person had some legal problems or problems with the law <sighs> yep Okay. Oh, and also this person for for others, this person is um a big time I don't know, they could be like a big time lawyer or they have like um they do something where they're kind of well known and they were trying to hide that. So, they weren't I don't even know. Like all right, I will tell you what. I I'm not picking up like this deep seated trauma from their past, from their mother or their father. I'm not picking that up. I feel like this person was just not trying to get close and they were just kind of pretending. Um I don't know why they would hide that. Um I feel like for some of you this person did not want you to know 
Um, I know some of you are going to say this isn't your reading, and that's fine. It's very specific. I feel like some of you, this person did not want you to know. They didn't want you to know them by their exterior. They wanted, so they kind of just kept all of that um, hidden. Um, and then when it came time to get a little bit closer, then they didn't want to reveal it. Okay. That's so much crazy right there. That's so much crazy. And there's also a little bit of this person was kind of struggling with money. This is this is just a wonky message. And I, I don't even know why it's coming to that. But I will say this. I feel like there's some kind of serious legal trouble that this person did not want you to know. But you know what? That's fine. It doesn't matter because, you know, you can't have a relationship with people's, if people are going to keep secrets and keep another person out of the loop. There must be full disclosure. There must be full transparency as the relationship progresses. And if it's progressing and secrets are being held deep-seated, like you, we don't have to meet each other for the first time and just op open up our Pandora's boxes to each other. But if there's this feeling like somebody was just pretending, uh, uh, Virgo, if you blocked that and you got away from that, hey, I, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. But I feel like they're gonna come clean. Okay, they're going to come clean about their legal tr troubles or they're going to come clean about their status, who they are in the world or in society. Um, and they're going to come clean about their uh, financial BS. Okay, whatever. All right, you've got true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Okay. And passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joys a lot. A lot of this energy playing out here. What else? I feel like the next card is going to be a doozy. Oh, there's a whole bunch. And you've got new love. All right. Now here's the message. This is this is a confirmation. <clears throat> you guys, this is not someone from your deep past or some ex. This is someone that at least within the last year or two you were dating or had dated. Okay, that's as far as I'm going. This is not someone from that you were married to. This is not your your ex that you were with for six, eight, ten years. This is someone that you briefly dated and either you were in or dated for a little while enough to actually be concerned and to be continuously listening to this reading where, you know, they had an impact, made an impact on you or um, and, it, and it ended, there's something ended. If, if It feels like for you it wasn't going anywhere or it felt like, you know, it wasn't going anywhere and nothing was happening. This energy is kind of playing back around again. It's kind of coming around again. So you guys might see each other somewhere um, or if you know each other or you're in a group of friends and there's a connection, I feel like there might be this have you been kind of energy and then the conversation starts talking up. Does that mean you're going to date again? I mean... Your feelings will begin to get stirred. That's for sure. Okay. Um, there is true love and passion potential here. Yeah. But this person has to open up and, you know, confess or at least explain some things to you. And I feel like they will. Okay. But again, like I always say, at the end of the day, Virgo, it's up to you. Now, I just had the emperor fly out. It was actually not flowing out. It was sitting right here on my table all by its lonesome self. So we've got Aries energy here. So maybe this person could be like a CEO in a, in a leadership position. They could be military, police or something, father figure, protective, con like self-control, disciplined, focused, authoritative in some way, very stable. So that might be, you might resonate with that as that being, you know, like your person, Virgo, your person. Um, all right, let me see what the messages of love are here. Wow, Virgo, I just don't know. Your love messages are always interesting. Now, tomorrow I'm going to give you a general reading. You take a look at your finances and, you know, some of those randoms to see what else might be coming up in your life. Okay. Rejection is actually divine protection. Okay. And regret. Mm. Virgo, guess what? If you talk to this person, they start revealing you're going to regret rejecting them. Yes, that's what, that's the message. 
um, if you allow this person, you're not going to really regret it. You might have a little bit of regret and remorse, but I kind of feel like you want to talk to them and you want to give them a chance to talk or to at least explain themselves because they might not have done that. So I feel like you might regret rejecting them, but it would probably be for a good reason. You're going to have to make a decision. And, and then in opposite, this person regrets this is mostly 90% of this person regrets pushing you away or not opening up. They have a lot of regret and that energy, you know, they were trying to protect themselves. They do have remorse and I do feel like they are going to try to, I think you both have a little bit of sadness here, a little bit of remorse. Like I, I feel like you were both kind of digging each other, you know, and uh, wanting something to go somewhere or just seeing if it could, right? So no, it's coming back around. I don't feel like this is really an XXX, you know what I mean? So I know they say never take X's back, but I don't feel like this is really an X. I feel like this was something that just had a failure to launch. And I feel like, um, I don't know, it's coming back around again. And that's Venus, Venus retrograde, you guys. Put away the computer. Spend time looking at each other, talking to each other. If you're on the computer talking, make plans to meet so you can talk face to face. But wait, timing is not quite right. Don't rush into anything. Addiction is affecting this relationship. This person might have been hiding an addiction as well. They might tell you because the Four of Swords was here. Hey, you know what? Guess what? I, I had a problem and I had to go get clean and I had to go deal with that. And it's time to decide about the relationship. So, yeah, I mean, Virgo. I, you know, I, I mean, I just feel like you're, as I always say with the readings, like you kind of just have to play it out. You got to read the room, see what comes, try to figure out how you're going to like manage a situation, what you want to do, that kind of thing. Let's see what else is coming uh, for you in July. Um, some other messages, maybe love, maybe not. We'll take a look and see. And thank you to everyone who has donated to the Sound of Freedom, our OurRescue.org fundraiser. I'm watching that number go up, and I'm getting shivers. You guys are so amazing. And for everybody else who has donated to the National Center for Missing Children on my other website, again, thank you. I really, like, you guys just, you kill me with your generosity, Virgos. All right, so a loan is being offered, Virgo. So if you're applying for a loan... Um, you'll be getting it, okay? A loan for car, a loan for house, learn to pay off some college or bills, that kind of stuff. A loan will be offered, okay? Ooh, material gifts. So that coincides right along with that. Um, highly logical male. So there's a businessman. Um, uh, so there's uh, there's a guy who uh, a loan officer. He works with money. He's going to find a way to gift this to you where you won't have to pay this back. I know it says a loan, but this could be like a grant more or less. There's something, um, he's going to work, he's going to work magic for you and find a way to gift you some money. Okay. For some loan of some sort, tell you, you're not going to have to pay it back. You're not going to owe. Okay. That's always a plus, huh? Oh, all right, spiritual principles. Um, some of you, there's going to be some, uh, if you apply for some kind of charity too, I feel like you're going to get some charity help. If you, if you really like need some help, like help paying some bills or some groceries or, or trying to get that for somebody else, like, you know, some kids or family members. Um, something here about church of some sort, going to a church or going somewhere where there's community that offers like charity, um, offers grocery, uh, things like that. You know what I mean? Because listen, I went to the store the other day and I went, I picked up a couple of things and on the counter was a four pack roll of toilet paper. Okay. And I think it was two ply, but it was only four rolls and the girl accidentally rang it up and I didn't need it. And I was like, oh, no, that's not mine. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. And then when I looked at the the, the register, uh, you know, the little computer pad there, it was eleven ninety nine for a four-pack roll of toilet paper. $11, that, 12 bucks. Like, are you kidding? Are you kidding? Times are getting tough. I don't know. I feel like when it all started, a lot of people... 
I don't know about you guys, but like I'm feeling the crunch now. Like I'm, it's really like it's trickling down. I'm really feeling the crunch. I don't know about you guys, but however you can get your your food in your cabinets, your bills paid, you do what you got to do, because everybody's feeling it now. I mean, it's just coming down the line. You know, it always starts up high. People that have like tremendous amounts of money, and then it starts trickling down to trickling down, trickling down. So. Um, if you do any kind of, you know, let me see if I can just try to get a loan or get a little help. There's a lot of resources out there. And if you need to get that for yourself or for somebody else, absolutely um, embark on that. Try to find those loopholes and those, those deals. I feel like you will be able to do that. If you're, you know, the Virgo males, especially, you're very smart. And you can make that happen. Virgo males are hustlers when it comes to business and they can make that work. And for the females, if, if that you can too. But if that's not your thing, you will have help. Okay? You will have some help. Someone will try to give you some kind of material gift to help you. All right, what else is going on? Yep, the struggle will be over. So financial struggle, listen, you're, you're gonna be okay. You got a bill to pay, you got something you need to buy, it's gonna come. It's gonna come. You're gonna be okay with it. And let's see, family celebrations, wedding engagement party coming up for July. Um, now that's either yours, I don't know, is it? Or you're going to attend one or be invited to one. Um, Gemini, I'm picking up a Gemini again. Um, somebody's gonna invite you to some kind of wedding. Maybe it's a plus one or something along those lines. And there's future plans here. Yeah, I feel like, um, I don't know, somebody's going to some kind of party where it's really like a magical kind of party. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's a kid's birthday party and there's a clown. I don't know, or a magician. But there's some, something about a magical event of some sort. I'm seeing lots of cool lights. Do you guys see that thing in Vegas where they had that like, I don't know, it looked like an earth or an eye or something. I saw it online. I was, my son showed it to me. He was like, look at how cool this is. And I saw it and I was like, what is happening? <laughs> There's an eyeball in the middle of the city and it's ginormous. What is going on? So some kind of magical event or show, I feel like you're, you get invited to, or you're going to be going too and uh, yeah there's going to be plans okay now you got your if you have a male boss what's going on with this male boss oh yeah listen your your boss i'm just gonna say this your boss is testing you your boss is testing you are testing my patience mr smith you are testing you will not give me any days off this this is being done on purpose they're testing you why what a jerk what a jerky jerk you are testing my patience right now okay uh, don't get angry don't retaliate on your boss because it's not gonna work you either got to suck it up or you got to find another job that's the message you got a boss here who's being a real shit on a swivel stick I don't even know that's what I'm picking up here. Bossy male, bossy female, testing you, testing you to see if you're gonna explode, to see, listen, never let anybody see you sweat. And never let anyone drive you out of a job. If they're testing you, recognize they're doing this on purpose, don't take the bait. You leave on your terms, not somebody else's. That's that's the message there, okay? You leave on, yep, reevaluating your career, Virgo. You might need to be doing that. Yep, you got somebody, here who's running the show um doesn't have to be a boss it could be like someone in your work environment who's being very bossy you know like when you were a kid and your friends like you know you're bossy you're really bossy somebody is being that way with you and it's just maybe some of you sit next to at your work or just i don't know whatever don't get driven out you call the shots if you don't want to work there anymore because the way somebody's treating you you walk you make the decision to leave don't let anybody do anything that's gonna have everybody else turn around and point the finger at you right just be 
play play the innocent in the situation and, and if this is the situation you're in right now i feel like it's time to start re- looking at your career here and figuring out well maybe it's is this worth it right is it that's really the question pick your battle is it worth the fight is it worth the stress is it worth the energy can you go somewhere else start you know, get on your computer and start looking around and see what else is out there um all right let's get into the chinese signs and what are the messages? Uh, this is just going to be for you, Virgo. This uh, We're just going to do your Chinese sign. And if your Chinese sign isn't called, it doesn't mean it's not your reading, okay? Year of the Rat. Uh, ox. Snake. Monkey. Dragon. Ox again. Horse. Rooster. And dog okay that just gives a little more clarification but it doesn't mean it's not for you all right let's see what your other random messages are here okay somebody's got a disability or a handicap or somebody's gonna be getting one of those handicap parking things for their car uh, closer to the entrance it's always good yep okay or helping someone in a wheelchair in the month of July or you're in one okay no I'm not seeing an accident that you're just gonna suddenly be in one maybe you get surgery or something or you just I don't know maybe you're just a weird person and you go into hospitals and ride the wheelchairs I don't know what your deal is I'm not judging okay um, I just heard the name Jimmy straight up they just said Jimmy okay um, Wow yeah here's an old lady I just saw her she an elderly lady and a wheelchair Okay, I don't know what that means. Elderly lady in a wheelchair. Okay. Um, I just said Chinese fireworks. I'm seeing Chinese fireworks. Mm, Asian fireworks, Chinese. And also, um, oh, the Olympics. Ch- uh, chasing a baton or a torch at the Olympics. When is the Olympics? When is that happening again? And where? I can't remember. I'm going to have to look that up. I know I read that. Anyway, that's there. Okay. Maybe somebody you know is going to be competing. Okay. Did somebody use sparklers? I'm, I'm sure you did. Did you use actual sparklers for, like, handheld sparklers for the 4th of July? Um... You might have this might be for you i mean i'm i'm sure that would cover many people i'm talking but specifically you personally holding a sparkler in your hand you personally if that was you if you did that you were holding them that's a message for you here okay and Wow, that's so weird. Sometimes, you know, it's strange, you guys. Sometimes, like, I'll look at the cards and then, like, nothing comes. It's, I don't know what's happening. Um, okay, somebody is 38 years of age. And, and now they're telling me Zimbabwe. <laughs> I don't know. Zimbabwe. Okay. Oh, does somebody drive a Tesla? I'm just picking up strong Tesla vibes, okay? Or is buying a Tesla like a vehicle, right? I don't have a Tesla. I drive an Audi. I love my German engineering. But yeah, I know Tesla's like the new whatever. I just like what I like, you know? I'm not, I'm not, um, forget it. We're not getting into me. Okay, so... We have the initials, the letter G, and then um, they're giving me zig, zag, or ziggy, zigzag, or ziggy, okay, and I see a child holding a cute little unicorn, stuffed animal, not real, are unicorns real, Um, a stuffed animal, a little unicorn stuffed animal, or a little pony, like my little pony, okay, one more. All right, and 
somebody's getting some very serious rain heavy rains coming keep your eyes on the weather wherever you are um, some very serious rains um, floods rains that kind of stuff you know sometimes I will give a message of like earthly events um, but I am seeing some heavy rains like monsoon type rains monsoon so I don't I don't know if it's a hurricane or if it's a typhoon which is that even the same thing um, where I live we get nor'easters so you know it's just very heavy rains and I know there's like a major heat wave happening right down south in the US I don't know what's going on in the rest of the world um, forgive me for that but I do know that um, I hope you guys get some rain if you live in an area that's fire prone I hope you get some rain but not so much that you get mudslides right like keep it Let's try. Let, let's say a little prayer and hope for some relief for you guys. Cause and stay cool, please. Stay nice and cool. All right. So we have Libra, Capricorn, Sagittarius twice. Okay. So they might be. That could be somebody you're dealing with, or it could be your rising sun, moon, or your rising moon, your Venus. Okay. Someone is. 50 years old someone's also 51 someone's also 53 a lot of 50s going on we have 46 and also 49 and 52 okay that's fine that works and let me get some september birth dates for you guys september 6th 5th 12th 3rd 15th and the 8th and do we have any August birthdays? August 28th. Um, August 31st, again. Okay. And, all right, here's your numbers. 473-2006. 9315. Okay, so you know, there's a big jackpot also. So let me give you some jackpot numbers before we leave. And if you don't have any numbers, you need some numbers. Here's your numbers. Okay, you write them down. And if you aren't ready to write them down, just bookmark the video or save it and come back to the very end. And I think it's 4221 is the uh, timestamp. So, um, 2, 9, 12, 21, 71. I'm also getting 10, and then I'm getting the number 3. So you can play that however you like. That might be too many numbers. I don't know. What is the jackpot? Is it like 6 numbers? 2, 9, 12... Oh, no, I think that was the right amount of numbers. Okay, let me get your charms. And then we're going to be done. We're going to be done for the day, for the night. Okay, you guys. So, you have an axe. You also have a little um, Tweety Bird. Actually, you have two. That is so weird that they're both there at the same time. Um... And you have a planet. Hold on. Did you guys... I think Venus and Mars are visible right now. Did you guys know that? I think they're visible right now. I thought I saw that last night. You know, I don't keep track of the planets. I'm just not that person. I should, though, because I'm really into space stuff. But, um, And this is Saturn here. But, oh, that is so pretty. I'm also seeing, like, somebody had some kind of um, charm that had, like metal around it and it had like a little ball uh, a jewel of some sort in the center um there's two little birds so you're gonna be listen if you're on twitter that's your message if you're on twitter you're gonna be meeting or chatting with someone on twitter you're gonna meet someone on twitter i'm just saying that if you want to be on there be on there if you don't then forget the message you also have um an axe here so Look, I don't know if you're out there chopping down wood or you're just chopping up your axes. Whatever you're doing, be careful with that axe. If you got an axe in your hand in July, take precaution. Be very careful. And anybody who's around you with an axe, <laughs> like, 
Make sure they're like at a huge distance from you, okay? I'm not saying there's gonna be an accident. Oh. Oh. Accident. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. I know what they meant. Um so they're saying that there will be an ex an accident, but it will be um like something happens with an axe and it makes a dent in something. Okay, I don't even get that. Like, why are you telling us that? Maybe it's just for clarification. But something happens with an axe and it makes a dent in something it shouldn't make a dent in. So whether that's like the side of a car or uh, side of a house or something or somewhere in the building or something, okay? That's just so weird okay i don't know maybe that was something happened to you already um somebody was like doing something with an axe and missed and hit something um maybe there's a lawsuit hey maybe there's some kind of a lawsuit for some of you about something like that that happened okay i'm leaving it there because i'm out of my mind now i have to eat i went and i like i went and worked out for a half hour and then i went swimming for half an hour and i'm like starving i have to eat so that's your message i hope you guys enjoyed that that was a lot of fun and again i'll be back here tomorrow to do your i'm just going to do a general reading look at your money and all kinds of other cool things that might show up and if you want to get a personal reading just remember there's a discount for july with yours truly so go on over there and book that right at my website moveytarot.com the link is in the description box below um, i think i'm booked up for the rest of this week but you may be able to get with brandy if you can't you can get with me next week and yeah so that's pretty much it make good choices virgo be happy be healthy love yourselves love others and i will see you all back here tomorrow all right